it began 3,000 years ago. The natives of Mexico would celebrate death and their gods who reigned in the underworld. Festivals were held in their honor. Offerings were given in their name. This was the way for centuries. But a change was on the horizon. The Spanish conquest of Mexico brought a new people into power and brought Christianity to the natives of Mexico. It was a new way of life. As Mexico evolved, so too did tradition. These celebrations of death would move to the Catholic calendar and would instead become celebrations of life and loved ones. A holiday we know today as Day of the Dead. Walk, where tonight we bring you a celebration unlike any other in the world. Day of the Dead has evolved over time, and it has taken root here in San Antonio in a big way. This celebration is about remembering our lost loved ones and their legacy. Yeah. I'm Steve Spreister, along with E.C.'s Romero. We welcome you here live along the San Antonio Riverwalk, where, as you said, for the first time ever, this celebration is taken to a grander scale here. We are expecting floats to go down, illuminated, beautiful Katrinas, and we also have stars like our own Eva Longoria. Let's listen in to Eva on stage right now. Wonderful city of San Antonio, um, and so everybody, welcome to the Day of the Dead River Parade. Thank you, Eva. How about another round of applause for Eva Longoria? So this is the inaugural Day of the Dead River Parade for San Antonio. There are so many aspects to our community, but the most essential one. All right, you're listening to Phil. You're, you're so listening to San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg welcoming people to the historic Artisan River Theater as we begin what we hope is a yearly festival here in San Antonio. And we have crews that are spread out all over here at the Arneson, La Villita, throughout downtown San Antonio. Yeah, this is going to be a spectacular show of lights and love and celebration. Let's go ahead and check in with the rest of our crews. Hey there, it's Mike and Fiona, and we are here at La Villita, and we are going to be showing you how the folks here are celebrating through the night. You know, of course, the big, big show is right down there on the river, but boy, there are thousands of people here in La Villita. They are enjoying the food, the music, and of course, celebrating and remembering their loved ones. Jen and David here in the heart of La Villita, and wow, what an atmosphere, the sights, the sounds. David, what a family-friendly atmosphere. It really is, and also the smells. We have a turtle stand right next to us, so you can tell you're definitely going to come out here, and you can get some snacks tonight. And the weather is really cooperative, Perfect. as it was mentioned. You know, it, it's actually, it's nice. It's like jacket weather, which I love the yes. fall for layering, Yes, right? of course. So, so much going on, and we have many stories to share Lots as well. Stories. Yes, all that and coming up much more. Hello, Adam Kasky here with the lovely Tiffany Huertas outside Margaritaville near the shops at the River Center for a different vantage point of San Antonio's first Dia de los Muertos parade. Tonight we're not only celebrating, but it's also about remembering and honoring those who have passed away. We are so excited to tell so many incredible stories and to hear from you. The weather has cooperated. It's a little on the cool side, but good for this time of year. The people are streaming in. A lot of people very decked out in their gear. Let's see what else is going on. Hey guys, it's Sarah and Katie here. We are at IBC Plaza celebrating the men and women in our armed forces. And because San Antonio is Military City USA, keep your eyes peeled for the Armed Forces USA barge during the parade. It's going to be awesome. We are so excited. We're happy you're here. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you in a bit. Hi, everybody. It's Leslie and Mark coming to you from the balcony of the San Antonio Riverwalk right outside the Harley Davidson waiting for the first San Antonio Day of the Dead Parade. It's going to be an evening of first. We're expecting bright floats and all sorts of smiles all up and down the world famous San Antonio Riverwalk. We're already seeing people start to line up to witness the parade and be part of it. We see faces that are painted. It's festive. It's celebratory. It's a, a way to remember those who have passed on and to 
entice them to come back for a day of unity. It's a night of tradition. It began in Mexico. It's been passed on to generations. Very personal and familial, but tonight we get to share it with everybody. We're so excited. It's going to be a great night. River here. For the first time, you will see the Katrinas on the river, and we will bring you, bring you all of that and more live from the Artisan Theater in downtown San Antonio when we come back. H-E-B brand products are made for the love of Texas. Like Cafe Ole, made with premium Arabica beans and custom roasted in unique flavors as rich as a Texas sunrise. That's why H-E-B is the brand Texas calls home. You have places to go and things to do, and when to go should be up to you. That's why VIA has more buses arriving more often on key routes across the city. Maybe that's why more people like you are riding VIA. In fact, ridership is up 30% on these routes. We heard you say you want to get to where you're going quickly, so we cut wait times in half on many routes. Now, you'll spend more time where you want to be and less time getting there. Imagine that. H-E-B brand products are made for the love of Texas. Like 100% natural beef, poultry, and pork. With no antibiotics, added hormones, or artificial ingredients ever. And we mean never. That's why H-E-B is the brand Texas calls home. Welcome back to San Antonio and the Day of the Dead Celebration 2019. A first ever celebration in San Antonio of what is a remembrance that goes back centuries. Absolutely. This started 3,000 years ago with the natives of Mexico celebrating this beautiful holiday. And it evolved over time, as we told you at the start of the show. I cannot wait to see the floats as they go by, I mean, we have literally a front row seat for you tonight. Yes, and you know what's really cool about these floats is that many of the floats and the barges that you're going to see tonight, a lot of the art that was that is on it was handcrafted and hand created in Mexico and then brought here to San Antonio. I had the incredible opportunity of seeing firsthand how some of these barges came together. Take a look. <laughs> No somos el único taller, somos seis talleres los que están involucrados, eh, son muy talentosos, eh, creo que van a tener una gran, gran sorpresa de parte de la cultura y de la gráfica mexicana a través de esta eh, gran exposición. ¿no? no tengamos error o tengamos el, 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 el mínimo margen de error. Entonces nosotros lo que estamos construyendo para las balsas, lo checamos aquí. Este arco es el límite de los puentes de Riverwalk. No, nada de lo que nosotros construyamos puede sobrepasar esto. Our Katrineras started arriving, we started assembling them. All the motifs and all the decorations that we're bringing, I, I think they're very spectacular. There's a lot of work behind all of this project because they were so big. We wanted to do them so big and so gorgeous as you can see them that sometimes they didn't fit under the bridges and then we have to take of all of the rails that they had on the side, so then they weighed less and they went higher. We have to put uh, sand on top of them to make them heavier. Well, there's a lot of complications, but what we are really interested in is having everything perfect so you can enjoy this great festival. Well, 
we're trying just to, you know, to make a day of the dead that will join families. And that's probably the entire idea, a very family-oriented event. And you know, that is just a taste of what you're going to see tonight. Some of those images that you saw were just a run through prior to today. Just a small taste of the total of 22 barges that are going to make their way down our river walk tonight. And you actually saw some of the people that you met in Mexico City just here, just we here so, walking yeah, through yeah. La Villita tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you can see some of the uh, practice and extra work that it took just to get it down some of these bridges. If you've never been to the river walk, we've got some bridges that are a little low, and so it's going to be, it's going to take some skill tonight to that, get those through. That was the most fascinating part of that story that you did is how they had to build these Katrinas so they could be collapsible or low enough so they could make it through some of these bridges that we have here in downtown San Antonio. Yes, absolutely. Now, as we mentioned, there's a total of 22 or so barges that are going to be making their way. We, uh, I believe, are going to get started here momentarily with our first barge. Um, I think they're pu pushing it back it's going to get started here in just a few seconds i know I, I know i can't wait well and i love what i love is i'm looking at our shot right now and i can see all the colors behind us those are barges lining up yeah as they're getting ready to go behind us right all here. the lights and the music and everything that comes along with it i just absolutely can't wait oh, oh they're making they an announcement announced. that it's about to begin so uh oh there we go all right, so we just got an announcement here that they're going to take us live, uh, our audio live, so the rest of the theater can hear what we're saying. So uh, we're excited and can't wait for this to get started. It, well, and this is literally unchartered territory mm -hmm. for the city of San Antonio. And I think a lot of the hope in bringing this here is that people would come and travel to San Antonio year after year after year for this Day of the Dead celebration. But I have to tell you, just sitting where we're sitting right now, you see all these people lined up along the river as far as you can see. It already has to be a success, and we haven't even seen our first Yeah, barge. and that was a big unknown, how many people are going to show up, because this is a new event. We know that San Antonio loves their parades. We love our big public events. They've always been such a huge success here in the city. And so uh, I think tonight is a true testament to how important this holiday is to the people of San Antonio and uh, how much everyone wants to see it uh, succeed. And I was also struck by just tourists who came by. Asking us about the holiday, uh, excuse me, asking us about the celebration, and it's spreading education to what Day of the Dead truly is. And awareness. And Absolutely. awareness. Absolutely. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back live from the Artisan River Theater in downtown San Antonio after this. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. Every wireless carrier claims they can save you money, but Spectrum Mobile's online savings calculator tells you exactly how much your family can save by switching. But what if one person uses a ton of data because they have an exciting and vibrant life and the other person is you? Doesn't matter. Spectrum Mobile lets you mix and match plans to get the most savings across your entire family. So what you're saying is we're family. Not even close. Huh. To see how much you can save, go to SpectrumMobile.com slash save. I'm going to start planning our family vacation anyhow. With HEB curbside and delivery, we shop how you shop so you get exactly what you want. We thump how you thump. We squeeze how you squeeze. We pick and sort and choose from our outstanding meat and produce, just how you would if you were here. But instead, you can be there. We do all the heavy lifting, and it's ready when you want it. HEB curbside and delivery. It's never been easier to shop HEB. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. of Day of the Dead San Antonio celebrations coming to you live along the San Antonio Riverwalk, the Arneson River Theater, E.C. Romero and I, and just like that, 
it's underway. Yeah, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first barge. This one's called La Catrina, and everyone knows that La Catrina is just an iconic symbol of Day of the Dead. And this is kind of an example of what we're going to see throughout this parade. Just the different, you know, uh, different aspects of Day of the Dead. And that is Mayor Ron Nuremberg on that float along with his family. And it looked like maybe Councilwoman Shirley Gonzalez on there as well. Yeah, and you know, if for those of you who don't know the uh, history of uh, La Catrina, sh she was an image that was created by... Uh, Jose uh, Posada, or Guadalupe Posada, excuse me, um, and she was created to kind of make fun of some of the uh, European customs. All right, that's the second barge that we just saw, Frida y Diego, of course, a tribute to Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera who were two of Mexico's most famous artists as well. And a lot of the people on there are with the San Antonio Visitors Bureau, Convention of Visitors Bureau, which is appropriate for tonight's parade. These barges are going really they fast. They are going fast. Our next barge is barge number three. It is El Altar. Hi. Uh, as you can see, it's a little ofrenda put together full of sugar skulls, uh, very beautiful, very full of color. And uh, we have riding that one some members of the San Antonio City Council. Yeah, that's a beautiful float right there. Uh, and so, you know, they, they are coming by fast and furious, but the good thing is we have angles further down the river that we can show as yes, well. Yes, so if we miss it, stay tuned. Our coverage will uh, catch that a little bit later down the line on the river. And, and this barge for the Armed Forces of the United States, Joint Base San Antonio Commander and other members of the Joint Base San Antonio Mission on board. We thank them for all that they do for our country as well as our city. That is a beautiful float. You it know, really the, uh, is. I don't know if you saw the uh, little story that we aired earlier where you saw the artist handcrafting that eagle that you see at the very front of... Uh, oh, but it was for that one. Uh, it was for that one. Okay, yeah, I that do remember that. Front? I do and remember so that. It was really neat to kind of see it all come together. And uh, that there is a... Look at a this shot right there of the bridge, and you see all the people on the bridge watching this parade. Indeed. And, uh, you know, as we mentioned earlier, I know that it, the floats went by really quickly at first. Uh, we're going to have a chance to get to go back and revisit them a little bit later in the broadcast. So just uh, stay tuned. We promise you'll get to see them all. What? As we mentioned, there's 22, and yeah. uh, the first few ones are quickly making their way down the Yeah, road. and the Frida Kahlo and the Diego Rivera, I mean, that is like one of the fabled love stories of, of course, Mexico and their on again off again yes. relationship <laughs> and the art that came from that i mean they were artists of some renown before they even mm -hmm. got together but just the art that they created together and apart is certainly something that's breathtaking an incredible love that they had together in life and i'm sure in death yeah here's well. a, here's another angle we, we told you we would have other angles there's the mayor's float right there the la catrinas and you were telling a little bit about the history of Katrina. Yes, and my apologies, uh, because they, w they went by so quickly. Yeah, they were really going to fast. To it. But, uh, you know, as we mentioned, it was as created by um, Guadalupe Posada, and uh, he was a Mexican artist who created the Katrina, kind of poking fun at Mexican society and those who try to appear to be rich uh, and um, would wear a lot of the European customs. So that's yes. how she kind of came about. Yeah. I love this split screen because you can see where we are at the Arneson on the left, and then on the right we get a little further down. And I believe we're actually heading to our fifth barge of the night, uh, which will be interesting. And I know that Grand Marshal Eva Longoria is also on one of these floats that's yes. going to come through. I believe she Eva's has Heroes, one of her charity. They have a few floats. I think yeah. they have at least three. three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so uh, our next float is getting ready to come down the river walk here, but we're going to, uh, yeah, it's making its way down here very slowly. The first few ones went by really fast. I think, maybe, yeah, I think maybe they're trying to figure, like I said, it's the first time they've done this. I think they're trying <laughs> to figure out what's a pace here. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back live from downtown San Antonio. Wow, I thought nothing could fix my pain. Ah, three times was all it took. I couldn't do this a week ago. Arasti, we fix pain fast. 
I'm Jeff Davis. Drivers that rear-end other drivers cause one-third of all car wrecks, and they are almost always determined to be at fault in an accident. If you have been injured by a car or truck driver that rear-ended you, pick up the phone right now and call the force. We have lawyers on call 24-7, and we will come to you. Then we will fight to get you the cash settlement you deserve. Call me at 444-4444. That's 444-4444. That's right. There's only one number to remember, and that's four. Wow, thought I was gonna need surgery. You never recovered so fast. Hunt! Man, I could not do this a week ago. Arasti, we fix pain fast. Katrina's on the River Parade live from the beautiful San Antonio Riverwalk. Thank you so much for joining us. Tonight is a night full of love, excitement, and honoring our loved ones. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe our next float is already coming behind us here. And you can hear the crowd reacting. That's what I like the best of this. Like, we are, it's a sold out crowd yeah. here at the Arneson River Theater. And you can hear them react here and then all the way down the river as these lighted floats go by. And the name of this one, uh, as you can see on your screen, is Mariposas Monarchas, and that means monarch, mon monarch butterflies. They are a very significant animal in the uh, Mexican culture. They make their trek from Canada all the way down to Mexico City around this time of year and take ho or take a, a residence in the Oyamel trees of Mexico. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And on board... This float, we've got our Ray Fayol. Edo Mex from Estado de Mexico, and it does look like that may be Ray Fayol on there. I think that's Ray Fayol. I think you're right. Thomas Aguillon and his wife Melissa, I believe. And uh, we've got our next float coming behind that one. This one's called El Panteón, which means tombs of the dead. And I remember that when you went to Mexico City and you did some profiles, you talked about just how the tradition is in Mexico to decorate. The all-new North Park Subaru, conveniently located at 9635 San Pedro, is now open. This state-of-the-art facility was built with you, our customer, in mind. With a full Subaru service drive and express lane, North Park Subaru, growing to serve you. Cool Schools, brought to you by Go Public. Cool Schools spotlights NEISD and its array of programs within magnet schools and academies, including STEM, fine arts, agri-science, and more. Learn more at wegopublic.com. Everybody's happy here at ATV. This favor is a part of family. Delivering everything that you need in your neighborhood. Something that tells me y'all are in for something good. Getting wine and beer is easy as can be. You won't even charge for delivery. You need the favor app on your phone, but that's understood. Get anything from HEB's huge selection of beer and wine delivered for free in under an hour. Something that tells me y'all are in for something good. HEB in favor, a match made in Texas. I never thought that we would be in this situation. My husband hurt. I needed someone I can trust, and I called Carabin and Shaw. They cared about me. They cared about my case. We help. We represent good people hurt in bad accidents. Call or Google Carabin Shaw. The journey to and through college begins at a young age. From pre-K to middle school to high school. We're dedicated to making sure that all children succeed every step of the way. When you choose Idea Public Schools, you're choosing a school district where the children of San Antonio can reach their full potential and attend the college of their dreams. Hello, Adam.
Adam Kasky here with the lovely Tiffany Huertas. Now, we're at a different location along the Riverwalk. We're at Margaritaville, so near the shops at River Center. And we've got a great spot because the barges will come down and then they circle back. Exactly. And then today, as we've been mentioning all day long, it's about celebration, but it's also mm -hmm. about remembering those who have passed away and honoring those who have passed away. We're so excited to be bringing you all the different barges that are going to be passing by here. But first, we want to introduce you to someone here. Her name is Kayla. Hey, Kayla, come on over. Come on over for us, Kayla. Here, I'll, get, I'll put you guys in the middle. <laughs> so, Kayla, you mentioned today, this is a very exciting day for you, but you're also honoring and remembering someone, right? Can yeah. you tell us about that? Yes, my nephew. He passed away about 10 years ago. He was a baby. He passed away of SIDS. So, did you know that this was happening in San Antonio this year? Actually, I didn't because I'm fairly new to San Antonio. I just moved here, so I didn't really know what was going on. So when I found out it was, I was really excited to like, get ready and participate and everything. And tell us about your loved one. Um, he was a baby, of course. We, um, we, we try to celebrate him as much as we can, not just on this holiday. We remember him all year on his birthday, and every time we get together, he's always in our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And who do we have here? This is his little brother. He would have been younger than him. This is my cousin. I'm his aunt. So, so you also him. mentioned, and what is your name? Um, Jawan. Jawan, you also mentioned today is special for you because you're honoring. Yes, ma'am. Um, he, he was very important to me. He was actually one of my brother's twins, um, Joaquin. Uh, over there, <laughs> him and my brothers. Um, so he would definitely, yeah, he would be older than me. So, yeah. so for people that are not here, oh wait, we have your twin right here. Oh no, 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 this the, is cousin. that's cousin. I mean, yes. sorry, your cousin. Can you tell me about him? Um, Junior, yes, <laughs> he just, it's actually his, um, her son, and um, I didn't quite see him that often because he was um, in Ed Basel. So, but when I got to see him, it was a, a great time. And finally, he went to San Antonio with my other cousin Sebastian. And now I see him a lot. He's very good. All right, and, uh, you mentioned Joaquin, right? Yes, sir. Here he is. Joaquin looks great. We just want you to turn around and say hi. There we go. He was a little shy with words, and that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. So uh, tell me more about um, the beautiful jewels and the design you did this year. Do you do it the same every year, or do you switch it up? Um, we switch it up. I, I hadn't tried the gems, but um, we were shopping for, like, our Halloween costumes and stuff, and I... I we're at Dollar Tree, and I saw them, and I'm like, you know what? I could do something with this. So I just decided to buy it and try it, and came out. <laughs> That's so great. Now, when you've been walking the river walk this evening, you know, coming down here, making your way to where we are, um, what other good displays have you seen other people wearing? Um, we've seen a lot of people with face painting, um, a lot of different styles and stuff, um, a lot of people dressing up with the crowns, and it's been very interesting. Well, and even on KSAT.com, behind the scenes, we're going to try to bring you some more of that and show you every angle of this parade. Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right. She is riding the official Day of the Dead San Antonio uh, barge, painted okay. the, the uh, skull that you see on there by our very own Phil Lane. Did you know that? Yeah. Beautiful. And you know, you, when you look at some of the uh, the skeletons that are on there, the, you can tell their their characteristics are a little bit different. They're wearing, they're very Texan. They're wearing the uh, cowboy hat and the cowboy boots and uh, made with a little bit of San Antonio flair. And who get this? Who get this? Which means little toys. Um, nothing more joyful for kids than breaking open a piñata full of candy and little trinkets. And this next barge just reflects some of that joy. It is full of color. It is full of life here. And it is written by, or uh, it is a... Uh, Riding on this barge are some members and representatives of Eva's Heroes. of barges because uh, she is so involved in the charities here in San Antonio, like Eva's Heroes. And I actually think some of the members of her family were on that float as well. And that's one thing that we need to mention is that a lot of the proceeds from tonight's parade are benefiting some local nonprofits. We've got Morgan's Wonderland represented, we've got Crit represented, and of course Eva's Heroes like we mentioned earlier. Yeah, and this, uh, I believe that is number 11, which was an, uh, another Eva's Heroes.
barge. Followed closely by, by barge number 12, which is Eva's Heroes Superstars. Which, as we mentioned, um, Eva's Heroes is uh, a, a generous donor of, of this uh, parade. And they've helped a lot in the San Antonio community. Um, mostly yeah. with uh, special needs right and that's what they reach out yeah. to it's a, trying to be inclusive trying to uh partner with things like morgan's wonderland which of course is here in san antonio and these are some of the heroes some of the people who have uh been a big part of eva's heroes here in san antonio i am just really loving the fact the bright colors yeah. that are on a lot of these barges that we're seeing and how san antonio and South Texas has turned out for this parade. You can see, you know, some of the shots that we have are just people lined up along the river. You can see people over the bridge. This sold-out Arneson behind us. So it's just... It's and just doesn't it bring a special ambiance to it, doing it at night? The colors yeah. just really pop. They're lit up. They look beautiful. Um, we're seeing, once again, the Day of the Dead parade. Official float right there with the... Uh, Katrina and Calavera, and of course, I'm glad. A little better look. at the very yes, at the very beginning or at the very top of that float. And I can think of no better place to have this celebration than San Antonio. Oh, absolutely. The, the, the rich history, the diversity of this city, the welcoming spirit of this city. This seems to me like the perfect place to have a Day of the Dead celebration. Now, everybody, get ready for this next float because this one okay. I think is going to be my favorite. This one is Alebrijes. If okay. you watch the movie Coco, you know already what Alebrijes are. Uh, but they're these, these mythical creatures of Mexico. All right. And a lot of them, uh, when you go to Mexico, are these little handcrafted um, wood little animals that look a little different. Okay. Colorful and different. You may have, you know, a uh, lion with horns or, um, you know, an octopus with, uh, I don't know, some, some other weird uh, or different kind of uh, body part on it. Yeah. And and I know that's kind of a weird way to explain it. And that, that barge <laughs> is what's right under the other side of the bridge right here by Arneson that we're sitting at. And we're waiting for it to come out. I... Uh, so far, my, one of my favorite, I think, might be the Loteria. Yeah. That one was really neat. And uh, it was one of those that we talked about at the beginning of the parade where they had to make some adjustments to it. They had to bring down the sign to right. make it fit under the bridge. And so, yeah, that one was really neat. Getting to play Loteria as a child, <laughs> this, it, it was really kind of cool to see it see it in that, in that form. Well, and uh, I can speak from experience yes. that in the city of San Antonio that's a way they teach the kids who are English speakers yes. how to speak Spanish by playing Loteria. Absolutely yeah we're gonna let's see we're still looking at a shot of Eva's Heroes barge right now on the uh, right side of your screen as we mentioned she's a, a supporter of tonight's parade and um, fortunate to have her involvement you know uh, we seem to be at a lull in the parade so far so let's take a break okay and we'll be right back live from downtown san antonio heb brand products are made for the love of texas like texas tough made to stand up to everything from mesquite to an old live oak only heb has them because only texas needs them that's why heb is the brand texas calls home He's my best friend as well as being my fiance. It's been about five years now. If I'm not with our son Eli, then Jefferson is usually looking after him. We just send quick pictures of what we're doing while the other person's working. Sometimes I work nights, so it's just good to have snaps of the funny thing he does. Fast. Here's to Peter Piper Pizza. Here's to the hunters, the gatherers, the foragers, the carnivores. Here's to taking family dinner time and making it a feast. Here's to getting carried away, then carried out. Here's to grabbing a slice together. Hey, pepperoni lovers, right now, get a large extreme pepperoni pizza loaded with two kinds of pepperoni for just $13.49. 
Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. H-E-B brand products are made for the love of Texas. Like 100% natural beef, poultry, and pork. With no antibiotics, added hormones, or artificial ingredients, ever. And we mean never. That's why H-E-B is the brand Texas calls home. The sights, the sounds, the color, the colors, the feeling in the air, the feeling in the air. I, I, we, we have been here four hours now, and the anticipation for this parade in San Antonio has been something to behold. And this was the parade, the float that you said was well, your I, favorite. I, yeah, I was just talking about this, and I had a little. Um, Hard way of describing them because they are unique. They're, like they're a cat. animals, so they're animals, they're creatures. All everybody has are creatures, but they have just kind of different features, like a donkey with butterfly wings or a rooster with horns. You know, they're just kind of a um, a mix of a creature, and they're said to be mythical. They come from the Oaxaca region of Mexico, and uh, yeah, I think that was my favorite. Look at that. That's my beautiful. scarf came from the Oaxaca region oh, there you of go. Mexico. Special, so special tie to I, this maybe that's my scarred. favorite float too. I think. Yeah. And just beautiful. Look at that. And, the, and again, as I mentioned, a lot of these are handcrafted in Mexico. So just think about the work, the incredible amount of work that now, went into creating some of these. And this tonight. has to be the, the uh, marigold. Well, yes, the Sempasuchi. The Sempasuchi. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I've and, been working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, Steve. And yes, as we mentioned, marigolds are an important flower for the Day of the Dead. Their aroma is said to be very strong. A lot of people put them out on their ofrendas. They put them out on uh, grave sites of their loved ones. And they're said to attract the souls of their loved ones and guide them to them, you know, by way of light with the candles that we put out for them and uh, by way of smell with the marigold. Well, and it seems that the colors of the marigold are very much the colors of Day of the Dead. Am I right? In the a way, orange, yeah. A lot yellow. Of a lot of the color that you see throughout Day of the Dead has special meaning. You know, red that I'm wearing tonight represents blood of our loved ones and the blood of life. Um, yeah, and, and as you mentioned, uh, that is a very vibrant color um, that's also a very key in celebrating. Well, that's what I wonder when I see the yellows and I see the oranges, I think of marigolds yeah. and the significance that they necessarily have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe we are still waiting for our next barge. If we could possibly take a shot so we can see some of the other ones that have passed by and just get another extra look at that, that would be great. Actually, I think we're going to go up to Stephen Cavazos okay. and Sarah Acosta right now who are standing by, I think not far from where we are, guys. Good evening, I'm Sarah Costa along with Steven Cavazos. We are in the heart of downtown at Alamo Plaza at the, friend, the Torch of Friendship statue. And Steven, this is a great place not just to view the parade, but do a lot of people watching. We've had so many people stopping by here already, taking pictures with these wonderful sugar skulls or calaveras as they're called. And they're spread out throughout, not just here, but we've seen them on Houston, on Broadway. And I think the number one question that we've been asked since we've been out is, where is Selena? Donde esta la Statua de Salina? That is the biggest question we're getting. She was supposed to be, that statue was supposed to be on South Alamo and Market Street, but everyone that is going down there has not seen it. So if you know where it is, if it's on a barge somewhere, if it's on a stage somewhere, please let us know and make sure you hashtag Day of the Dead San Antonio, hashtag KSAT. And we said where, hashtag where Salina, right? <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. All right, thank you guys. Uh, you, yeah, w uh, we haven't seen Selena on one of the no, barges. No, you know she was down here at La Vita for a while. It's a it's a huge, huge uh, statue. It w I don't think it would fit on one of these barges. There's no way they could get yeah. through that bridge. Uh, but she was on display for a while, and then I think they moved her out of La Vita in anticipation of the event. And I think we see the Simpe uh going by from a different angle and you get a better look at some of the flowers that adorn that particular barge but we do know we can at least confirm that there is a selena statue <laughs> in san antonio ecs has seen it so 
We'll, we'll, we'll keep on the lookout. It could still be it here does in Bobby exist. Eaton. You know, I, 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 believe, I believe they moved it. I'm not 100%, but I believe they moved it. Okay. Maybe All we'll right. maybe we'll find out during the break here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, as we continue for this parade, as it rolls along, just to give you an idea, uh, they have some live bands that are also going to be playing. They have food. They have tasting. All kinds of things. And, of course, more floats to come live from downtown San Antonio. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. With HEB curbside and delivery, we shop how you shop, so you get exactly what you want. We thump how you thump. We squeeze how you squeeze. We pick and sort and choose from our outstanding meat and produce, just how you would if you were here. But instead, you can be there. We do all the heavy lifting, and it's ready when you want it. HEB curbside and delivery. It's never been easier to shop HEB. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. of the Catrinas on the River Parade. Our next barge is slowly making its way down the River Walk. It is the Family Violence Prevention Services float. Yeah, Marta Palias from the Family Violence Prevention Services is on this along with the battered women's and children's shelter representatives as well. Family Violence Prevention float. And you, you uh, it's such an important service that oh, they provide. Oh, absolutely. And as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, that a lot of the nonprofits um, are playing a big part in tonight's celebration. As a, as there a matter of fact, a lot of them represented here tonight. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the Arneson River Theater, the seating here, mm -hmm. it goes to nonprofits in San Antonio. A lot of the tickets that were sold, uh, a lot of the places are free along here uh, to stand and watch the River Parade, but behind us for a seat, those benefits go to nonprofits. Yeah, and speaking of nonprofits, we are going to show you the next barge, Crit USA. Its theme for tonight's parade is joy and healing. What appropriate yes. themes to have for a Day of the Dead celebration and as we remember our loved ones who have passed on, who as, you know, legend has it, they are closest to us on tonight in this weekend over the next few days this their spirit is closest to us and take a look at how fun this float is take a look i mean it's a little legos and blocks that kind of put it together just take a look at some of the uh the looks on people's faces as it passes by it's just amazing to be out here and witness firsthand but yeah it's a and really the, creative one and the little one on board i love that Another major nonprofit here in San Antonio, Morgan's Wonderland. I know that you're involved a lot yes. in Morgan's Wonderland. That brings us to our next float. Yep, this is float 18. It is a float from Morgan's Wonderland. No. Yes, Crit and Morgan's Wonderland, I believe, is what this one is. And uh, you know. The Katrina's on the River Parade, it does have a special focus on children, and these barges certainly reflect the spirit of that. Yeah, they absolutely do. And a lot of people, not only on the barges, but in the crowd here at La Villita and Artisan Theater, have uh, their faces painted yeah. like the skeleton, skeletons or the, the, the different, the different uh, uh, the spirit of... Day of the Dead. Yeah, the thing. skeletons and the skulls represent death, but they're done in a non-scary way for Day of the Dead. You know, they're they're vibrant, they're colorful, they're full of life, and um, you know, certainly different than the way a lot of Americans celebrate Halloween, which you know are completely different holidays. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's an important distinction. Yes, 
important to note. This is not Halloween. No, not at all. This is a uh, important cultural holiday for the people of Mexico called Dia de Muertos there in Mexico. And of course, that's, as it's evolved over time, and we've celebrated, as we've been saying, for generations here in San Antonio, but uh, certainly a very special night tonight because we've never done this before. Yeah. Because, you know, this is the first time for the Catrinas on the River Parade, and uh, the first of hopefully many because it, just by the look of the crowd tonight and by the look of some of these floats that we've seen so far, it has been an incredible spectacle so yeah, far. And you can saw the crowds. Let's go to Mark Austin and Leslie Mouton a little farther down the river and see what they're up to. Hey, guys. It is getting really crowded around here now. People are starting to line the river walk, waiting for the parade on this end of it, because I think we're like an hour further down than they are. Yeah, we were quite a ways down. Just kind of a scene setter here. We're outside Cowboys, Alamo City, Harley Davidson on the Riverwalk. I got and it all done. It is just a perfect night to be doing this. A little bit cool, but it is not keeping anybody out. And I love how they were just talking about the fact that even though it's just the day after Halloween, mm -hmm. they're so different. There's nothing scary about it. It has to do with souls, but it's all about celebrating your loved ones and bringing them here. And there's so much fabulous tradition. I love it. Anticipation is uh, is getting big down here. We've seen people starting to line up. They've been uh, lining up now for well over an hour. We've already seen some people in very elaborate costumes. Some people have their skulls. Some people have their makeup. It's just, it's awesome. I love it. I have my shirt and I have this one. And I'm just happy to be learning so much about a holiday I knew existed but didn't really understand. It, now I do. Me, me too. We've been trying to do our homework. We're not going to nail every single pronunciation, but, but we're, we're going to do our best. We're <laughs> going to do our very, very best. We can also tell you that uh, we've seen a bunch of locals come down here, and it, tourists, if you're down here and you're staying at a hotel, they picked a magical hey. night to be on the Riverwalk tonight. Hi, Hi everybody. Hi. Anybody from here in town? You're visiting. Are you all from in town? Well, all right, all right. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Well, People if you're do coming down for all the, from all over the country. Yeah, Actually. if you're coming down for the first time, welcome to San Antonio. Thank you guys for being here. We need to get them some pens. Did you give we them do. pens yet? Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. There you go. We can multitask. Here, here, guys. Here, come get your pens. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Oh, there we there go. go. This Those is our station. Day of the this Dead. This is our very pens first Day of the Dead. We've been talking a lot, too, about one of the things that we're really impressed with are yep. the ofrendas. And we're going to talk more about that coming up in the next hour when we're hosting the parade as well. We are ready to check back in with Steve and E.C. said Arneson. Back to you guys. All right. You want to talk about dynamic duos. Of course <laughs> you talk about Mark and Leslie. You could also talk about, I don't know, tequila and mezcal. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I'm just going to keep it at that because um, I was craving a little margarita earlier, but no luck, right? Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll have time. We'll have time. That's the, that's the next float I think we're expecting. The theme is tequila and mezcal. Oh, here it is, actually, speaking of. And we, don't, we have no idea what it's going to be. I am looking forward. To, this might be the, per, the the this might be the float I've been most looking forward to. Yeah, just out of curiosity. How are, yeah, what are they what, what are they going to do to Tita and Mescal? Yeah, presenting this one is a um, a well known restaurant here in San Antonio, La Gloria. Yes. And uh, tequila, Herdura. Am I saying that? Sure. Right. Okay. Sure. <laughs> or Herdura. And it, it, yeah, there's the tequila and mezcal, and you can see the barrels on the back. Oh, that one's neat. I'm guessing that's, that's I'm plant. guessing that's an agave plant. You see several agave plants along there. When life gives you li lemons, drink tequila. That's what they said. And of course, the La Gloria float, La Gloria, uh, Chef Johnny Hernandez, uh, very key in this whole celebration here in San Antonio. Yeah, that one's pretty neat. I got it. I like that the agave one. plants, uh, you know, and again, uh, just each each little leaf of those handcrafted, you know, just amazing. Yeah. Some of the work that that went into producing, creating, and painting some of these It's just incredible. Now, not all of them are necessarily, you know, specialty floats. What specialty we call specialty floats. Yeah. yeah, this one is actually from the San Antonio Rodeo, and appropriately. Has a long horn a on there. A big old long horn <laughs> on there. You can you, you can tell you're in Texas. 
I'll just take in that one. Look at that. That is humongous. That's impressive. It, it is life-size. I don't know if that translates on everyone's screen as you're watching it, but it is a life-size replica of a Longhorn. Somebody put some work into that one. Yeah. Uh, the San Antonio Livestock Show and Rodeo, of course, the sponsor of that one. And let's just check in with uh, the Girls Inc. float right now as they make their way across the Arneson. Girls Inc. inspires girls to be strong, smart, and bold, and helps girls ages 6 to 18 overcome barriers that prohibit them from achieving their goals. Absolutely. Empowering young girls is a big part of what Girls Inc. does. And I love the fact that they all yelled out, hey, KSAT. <laughs> So they watch so us. So they watch yeah. us. That's also good, yeah. Oh, what do we have here? At least from the um, this part of the Riverwalk, uh, again, we are located at the Arneson River Theater. We're, we're kind of ending the, I believe the parade on this end. This is actually float 14. Ah, I got out of order. So okay. we need to go back to what that is. But there's actually smoke coming off this one. Ah, Pan de Muerto. That oh, means, uh, beautiful. And there you see. It. And Calaveritas. <laughs> so the, the sugar skulls are what you see on uh, the middle and the, and the front of the float. And, <laughs> oh, that is so cute. And then you've got uh, a skeleton uh, with and a brick the, pan, the Pan de Muerto, which is the bread that you place on the altars. Um, it resembles uh, bones. So it's, it's a, a soft piece of bun with sprinkled in sugar. Yeah. And on the top has uh, some bones on it. So it's very distinct looking bread. But it's, uh, it's a seasonal bread made during this time of year for the celebration. That's, a, that's an impressive float right is. there. That I'm glad. It's really a little out of order from what we were expecting, but I'm glad yeah. they got it in. Yes, yes. By the way, the next float that we have here is for the San Antonio Spurs Los, Spir Los, Los Spurs. Los Spurs, yes. And this is actually um, the last float that's going to at least come through the Arneson. Of course, as we said, you know, our coverage will take you along other portions of the Riverwalk, but this one is sponsored by the San Antonio Spurs, Silver and Black. Gervin Duncan Robinson lockers that are on the back there. All former Spurs greats. I love that one. Yeah. Oh, and the, crew, the crowd nice. just got excited for that one too that was a a really neat one to see well, and this is where the rest of our cameras come in yes. handy because this is Even where we get the different here, yeah. we get to different angles i mean there are thousands of people that are along the river and so it's great that they're seeing from a different angle than we see and now we'll get to take in some of those angles and show you what it looks like further down the river there you, see, there you see the Longhorn making its way through one of the big bridges. I believe the bridge that goes over by River Center Mall here in San Antonio. So which one, now that we've seen all of them, at least from the Arneson, which one has been your favorite, Steve? I have two favorites. Okay. Tequila and Mezcal. Okay. And Simpasuchi. Ah, okay. I, did, I thought it was simple. Yeah, simple. Beautiful. But elegant. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to go with the Pan de Muerto one that... We just that saw was really that good. one was really neat, and the olive tree heads. That one, the the color and just the work that went into that one, I gotta say, is, is my the, favorite. The, but they were all absolutely. The loteria also great. Very impressive, indeed. Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the history of this whole thing. Yes, as we mentioned, this is a tradition that happened, uh, it got started really in Mexico 3,000 years ago with the native, uh, natives of Mexico and has evolved over time and has become the holiday that we know and celebrate today as Day of the Dead. It's not anymore a pagan celebration. It is a Christian celebration together with the whole church celebrating All Souls Day. It is celebrated in a grand way today, but the beginning of Dia de Muertos looked quite different centuries ago. The holiday began with Mexico's indigenous people. Para nosotros es muy importante porque tenemos una cultura de la muerte. Los aztecas tenían una una idea muy grande de la muerte. 
Many of Mexico's native groups, including the Aztecs, honored the dead with rituals and celebrations. But when the Spanish arrived in Mexico in the 16th century, these customs would change. Right after the conquest came the first uh, evangelizers, the first missionaries, which happened to be Franciscan fathers. They observed that the Indians had a great devotion for the dead. But then they said, let's just take their custom, but make it Christian. That is why the Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico very differently to any other parts of the Catholic world. The celebrations have evolved over time, culminating in our modern era to a holiday rich in tradition and meaning. Yo abro la puerta, toco una campana y lo recibo. Mamá, bienvenida, papá, bienvenido, abuelo. A todos aquí te tengo tu café, te tengo tu ron, te tengo tus cigarros. Todo lo que a ellos les gustaba, yo se los pongo y platico con ellos. En muchas comunidades se festeja la muerte, no la, no, este, no se tiene miedo, por eso se hacen muchas, muchos rituales en las casas para recibir a, a sus muertos. No, este. There is really a, a, a sense of unity that whether we are dead, whether we are alive. If you believe in the resurrection, then we are one communion, the community of the saints. And so it is coming from there, and it emphasizes that aspect that is important for, for Christianity, that, that we, we are, in Christ, we are one. And we are back. That was uh, an explanation of the history of the holiday. And um, we're back here at the Arneson Theater. I'm having a bit of a, a personal moment. Yeah. My mom passed away uh, many years ago, 11 years ago. And every time I hear the song, Sweet Child of Mine, I always think of her because that's what she, she called me, Sweet Child of Mine. And then behind us. Yeah. It's the song, and so well, that's, um, that's, that's what, what, I, what tonight is all about, is remembering our loved ones and remembering those moments. And that's what I was struck by, is I don't think it's a coincidence that this song is playing. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm really getting stuck up are. here, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Just a, it's just a beautiful, beautiful experience getting to be down here and, and see some of these barges and, and uh, celebrate the holiday as a city and as a community and it, it really is just a wonderful and special event. I know your mom is one of the people that you are celebrating tonight. Uh, I am thinking of so many different people, uh, my grandmothers, uh, people that we've lost, you know, at the station, our former news director Jim Boyle. Uh, as well as Michelle Lima, who is one of my co-anchors uh, many, many years ago. But I think there are a lot of people who are down here who are thinking about their loved ones and the fact that they may not be here in body, yes. but they are certainly with us in spirit. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the celebration doesn't end tonight. This was a big parade. This was a big event. But so many families tonight will go home and celebrate quietly. They'll be celebrating at their ofrendas and their altars or at a church. Um, and so, you know, the, the celebrations continue throughout San Antonio. Um, this is just one aspect of the, of the celebration. And there are, in houses all over San Antonio, South Texas, Mexico, altars that are set up. Spectrum Mobile makes it easy to save. Mix and match our unlimited and buy-the-gig data plans and build the perfect family plan that fits your needs. Unlimited nationwide talk and text included. See for yourself with the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator. Enter your information and see how much you can save over other carriers. It's that easy. Plus, you can change plans anytime. And there are no added taxes, fees, or contracts. Visit SpectrumMobile.com save today. Christus Santa Rosa Health System with the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Celebrating 150 years. 
education and prevention, treatment and rehabilitation. These are at the heart of Krista Santa Rosa's award-winning cardiovascular program. Proud sponsor of the annual Heart and Stroke Walk, benefiting the American Heart Association. Krista is dedicated to heart care and prevention for adults and children with comprehensive education, available screenings, state-of-the-art cath labs, and extensive rehab services. Good evening, everybody. Mark and Leslie out here outside of Cowboys, Alamo City, Harley Davidson on the Riverwalk, we, right by La Soya and Crockett Street downtown. We are having such a wonderful time immersing ourselves into this Day of the Dead celebration. The parade has been fantastic. The floats are so decorative and beautiful and colorful. As a matter of fact, we have one that's going by right now. And I believe, Mark Austin, that one is... Number six, I want to say. The military one is just going by, which is... We're, catch it, we're catching up real quick because yep. everything's happening so fast. From Military City, USA. I don't Work. think these are in, in line right now, to yeah, tell you that's the okay. truth. So we're going to... We're gonna find well, out where we, we are. We can also tell you, we've had a bunch of folks out here waiting for quite a while to see these floats. We've had people lining up now for well over an hour. Have we seen people in costume? We've absolutely seen people in oh, costume. Just, look, we just, behind us, we had this whole family. They drove in here from Houston simply to be part of the celebration here in San Antonio. When they read about it and heard about this big parade, they said they wanted to be here. They said they've been planning it since February. And this is the first time they've ever dressed up for it, they said. And I asked them, who are they here to, you know, to remember? And all of them said their grandmother and they had some fabulous stories about her. We have so much to talk about this evening, and one of the other things that we love about our coverage tonight is the whole live stream thing, where you can choose your live stream. We've got cameras all up and down the Riverwalk for this Day of the Dead inaugural parade. We do, and as a matter of fact, R.J. Marquez and Erica Hernandez, I believe, are standing by with all the details to explain what you can do. Hey guys, we are coming to you live from Guadalajara Grill on top of La Vieta where we have got a great Open. scene out here. There are people that have come down not only to enjoy the river parade, but also to enjoy these amazing skulls and decorations out here, including the Katrina. Okay, so this is a lot of different now. things going on, but we want to talk to you about a different way to experience this parade. Yeah, so if you go to ksat.com, there is 10 different live streams that you can pick and choose whatever camera angle you want. So you can, if you missed something earlier, you can go and catch up. And you can catch up here in La Vieta as well. We'll have these live streams up all night long. Yeah, this is the uh, first time that we're doing this on ksat.com. So you get to choose your own adventure and get to experience this uh, Day of the Dead parade in such a different way. And as everyone has been saying, in such a great celebration here in San Antonio. Yeah, so and not just tonight, but all weekend long, we'll be here at La Villita. So make sure you go to ksat.com and experience that adventure, Mark and Leslie. We've seen the armed forces, which of course we appreciate so much, and we've seen like five or six, but we're still waiting right now, I believe, on the Alebrejas, which is one of my favorites. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful evening. We're so grateful that you're letting us help uh, kick off this Day of the Dead coverage here. We're hoping to make this an annual tradition and probably one of the biggest in the country. I think San Antonio could do it. Well, and if it's this big for the first one, the inaugural, you know it's going to be big and just grow every year. I We've got another float coming. We have a float coming in right now. Oh, it's the butterflies, I betcha. Okay, Mariposas Monarchs. Look how beautiful, look at those vibrant colors. Filling the river with their beauty, monarch butterflies, a delight to behold. 
about this fantastic barge flittering with light and color. Millions of monarch butterflies migrate south into Mexico each year. The Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve is actually a World Heritage Site where the butterflies congregate, clustering into pine and fir trees. Now the trees up here orange and branches sack in the way. Each spring, these butterflies migrate across America, sometimes ending up as far away as Canada. As we're waiting for our next float, let's go, or barge, I should say, let's go back to the Arneson River Theater. Nice. We're back down here a little further down the bend on a magical night. Oh, let's take you back out and show you this float. It is Day of the Dead Grand Ambassador Eva Longoria. It That's right. And we are uh, this one is Dia de, Dia de Muertos, featuring a giant calavera and Katrina's. This barge represents the spirit and celebration of Day of the Dead. Listen to this. and Catarina's smiling sugar skulls and skeletons are synonymous with Dia de las Muertas, or Day of the Dead. Presented by HEB, this barge embraces the holiday and showcases the essential symbols of its celebration in larger-than-life glory. It features the 2019 Catarina's on the River Parade Grand Marshal, actress, producer, and philanthropist, Eva Longoria. San Antonio. No, she's so involved here and does so much for special needs kids in our community. We love her. We'll see a lot more barges, actually, that she's sponsored because of Eva's Heroes. Right now, we want to ta take you back out to our roving reporters, Sarah and Steve. Katie. Sarah and Katie or Sarah and Steve? Sarah and Katie. Sorry, Sarah and wrong Katie. Sarah. Okay. <laughs> Sarah and Katie, it's yours. But I tell you what, you caught us a couple times actually watching the, the newscast and the, the live stream, our coverage tonight. It's been beautiful. It's so absolutely beautiful. We have to take a quick break. We're going to show you many more of the barges and bring you more the live first day of the dead river parade in San Antonio, Texas. <laughs>
H-E-B brand products are made for the love of Texas. Like Cafe Ole, made with premium Arabica beans and custom roasted in unique flavors as rich as a Texas sunrise. That's why H-E-B is the brand Texas calls home. The all-new North Park Subaru, conveniently located at 9635 San Pedro, is now open. This state-of-the-art facility was built with you, our customer, in mind. With a full Subaru service drive and express lane, North Park Subaru, growing to serve you. Water is your lifeline. Protect your health and appliances with Jason's Water Systems, the only system that truly delivers 100% soft, pure water you can drink from any faucet in your home. Call 844-JASONS1 today and compare. HEB brand products are made for the love of Texas. Like 100% natural beef, poultry, and pork. With no antibiotics, added hormones, or artificial ingredients ever. And we mean never. That's why HEB is the brand Texas calls home. We all dread taking our cars in for service. Ladies, you're given questionable diagnosis and outrageous service rates. I've been there too. People shouldn't fear the automotive shop, and that's why I own O'Brien's Automotive. Our mission at O'Brien's is to deliver fair and accurate service to all our customers. Our mechanics are ASC certified, AAA approved, and we're a Napa Auto Care Center. Our mechanics will tell you what needs to be done, and more importantly, what doesn't. Trust the honest experts at O'Brien's Automotive. We are in IBC Plaza here toward the end of the parade route, and it is amazing. We've been waiting a long time to see these barges. We're finally seeing the energy here is palpable. There's been a lot of people who have come out of town to celebrate Day of the Dead with us here in San Antonio. Yeah, we met some friends from Houston behind us, uh, young kids that were really excited to see the floats, the colors, the music, because they know about this holiday, and, the, and they know what it's about and uh, how important it is. And look at these beautiful colors. This is float number three coming on by. Oh, I love it. They're so beautiful. Even more beautiful than than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, so amazing. We're kind of in the military appreciation area here, and there's a lot of people, uh, especially even there are some cadets that are actually from Latin America that have come here uh, to experience this with us. So we are so very excited uh, to be here tonight uh, and to experience this. Again, we waited a long time to see these barges. Everybody is excited. We even met a woman who said, finally, we're celebrating this in San Antonio. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these barges this is the military appreciation barge we are in that area here you can see that all branches of government are represented here obviously san antonio is military u.s city usa any celebration in san antonio would not be complete without celebrating our nation's armed forces and the role of the military in san antonio dates back all the way to 1845 when the united states annexed texas now home to joint base san antonio it's the largest military installation in the united states so again we are so excited to be here celebrating today. Uh, and that was just an amazing barge, wasn't it? Yes, that was so cool. And this, this section of the river got really excited. They got really loud, obviously <laughs> so. So if you are watching, thank you so much uh, for your service. So right now, we're going to go ahead and go to Mark and Leslie. Yes, over to you guys. Thank you guys. Right, Appreciate it. We're a little further down the bend, and we just had another great barge come by. We sure did. The barge that just went by, which I hope we still can get a shot of for you, is the Lateria Mexicano. Oh, the one coming now is. Hard to see. <laughs> I don't know. Hard hey, Sean, show me again which one it is. Oh, this is the Day of the Dead. Okay. San Antonio. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Much. It features a giant, Catavetta, and Catarinas represents the spirit and celebration of Day of the Dead. All right, so let's listen for a sec. They're, they're having so much fun. It's such a, a wonderful experience to see a holiday that celebrates death in a way about loving their memory. It's about taking an old tradition and making it new. 
uh, and it's a magical night down here. Can you imagine coming to San Antonio, not knowing this was happening tonight, having maybe a hotel room right on the river walk, walking out, having a nice evening, and seeing all of this? What a blessing. I know. Okay, got more than they bargained they for. They got for their buck, And it's they? the first one, so really super duper special for them. Very special. And these barges are unbelievable. I was, we were telling Leslie, what a hello. hello. Got a mariachi player walking by us right now. <laughs> I was telling Leslie earlier, it's one thing to see the renderings of these barges. It's another to see them in person. And they're just as colorful as they're going to be. Hello, sir. How are you? So we've got people walking by. Again, we're outside Cowboys, Alamo City, Harley Davidson, oh. right here on the Riverwalk. Great location. They've been nice enough to share their balcony with us. They've been so, and their table and their chairs. They've yes. been really great to us. But we have these case uh, Day of the Dead pens that very coveted. So that's why people keep walking up to us trying to get a hold of it. All right. We've got um, more barges here. Oh, we have up. another one coming up. I see it right there. This is Pinatas and, and Juguetes. That's right. There's nothing more joyful than breaking them up piñata to discover treats and trinkets. The happiness shared in this barge featuring piñatas and toys for everyone to enjoy. No one can resist the fun of piñatas, a staple of celebrations across Mexico, often made of paper mache, pottery or cloth, and filled with small toys or candy. The hidden treats are revealed with just the right hit. I love piñatas, spilling out to everyone's delight. Riding this fun-filled barge are representatives from EVA's Heroes, the organization that helps teens and young adults 14 and older who have intellectual special needs integrate and flourish in our society. And as we mentioned, Eva Longoria is the ambassador to the parade, and she has like four different barges in this one, and her next one is probably coming up in just a minute. I think it's EVA's Heroes that we'll be seeing in, in just a moment. So it is a little chilly tonight. But I tell you what, it's a it's a perfect night. At I least we said leader. at least it's not raining, at least it's not hot. I'm, uh, my papers are falling, darling. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, here we have another one. I, another one of Eva's. You hear them? I do. I hear them. Yep. And I did downtown Riverwalk. Yes. Always festive on a Friday night. <laughs> Times ten tonight. Not like, yeah, not quite like this though. Yeah. This is wonderful. And some of the face paintings and the outfits that people have they're so detailed and so colorful and i just think it makes me feel like i'm really part of this whole holiday i want to circle back to the family from our, and friends who came in uh -huh. from houston just to celebrate this they were dressed to the nines and it was the first time they've ever done it yeah. which was really special but let's take a look at this next one this is the evos heroes barge that i was talking about the Catarinas on the River Parade benefits a variety of organizations that serve our youth, and that includes Eva's Heroes. Some of these, a little hard to see from our vantage point. Maybe you've got a, a little bit better yes. shot. We know they're a little dark down here, but they're so many of them are so well illuminated. Now, if you didn't know about Eva's Heroes, I don't know how you couldn't know about it. Right. You should, but it was founded, of course, by Eva Langora. And it's to enrich the lives of individuals with intellectual special needs by providing an inclusive setting built on four tenets. Interact, grow, learn, and love. And based in San Antonio, it helps teens and young adults, 14 and older, who have integral special needs, integrate and flourish. And if we're on track here, we should have another representation by Eva's Heroes, Heroes supporters. This time it's the supporters, yes, absolutely. Let's take a listen and look. They've got a lot of music on this float. That Hi, guys! Was a party in progress. Oh, what a great night. This is the, the floats. They've outdone themselves. They really have. Well, the floats haven't outdone themselves. <laughs> the creators <laughs> of the floats have outdone themselves, I they, should say. They have. It's been, it's been wonderful. It, if you're just now tuning in, if you're watching us maybe from around the country or around the world on our live stream, a special good evening from the Alamo City. And while we're seeing these beautiful barges, I understand there's some mariachis and some music going on at the Arneson River Theater.
At 24,000 square feet, America's Diamond in San Antonio is the largest design and manufacturing jewelry store in America. You can buy direct from America's Diamond and get much better quality jewelry for much less money. Everyone gets our very lowest, clearly marked manufacturer's price every day of the year. Watch our television program called Buying Diamonds Intelligently right now at americasdiamond.com. America's Diamond is the official jeweler of the San Antonio Spurs and the University of Texas at San Antonio Athletics. Every wireless carrier claims they can save you money, but Spectrum Mobile's online savings calculator tells you exactly how much your family can save by switching. But what if one person uses a ton of data because they have an exciting and vibrant life and the other person is you? Doesn't matter. Spectrum Mobile lets you mix and match plans to get the most savings across your entire family. So what you're saying is we're family. Not even close. Huh. To see how much you can save, go to SpectrumMobile.com slash save. I'm going to start planning our family vacation anyhow. This year at Peter Piper Pizza, she gets everything she wants for her birthday. Pizza. Friends. Game. And best of all, you. Party packages only $8.69 per child. Peter Piper Pizza. Everyone grab a party. KSAT 12 presents another Day of the Dead Stormy. Originally called Mary's Gold, the Marigold is named after the Virgin Mary. But in Mexico, it's called Sempasuchi, the flower of the dead. Placed on graves and used to decorate altars during the Day of the Dead, it's believed the flower's vibrant colors and strong scent can lure souls back to the living. Since they bloom in early summer and die at fall's first frost, they also symbolize the fragility of life. The name Sempasuchi is Aztec and roughly translated to flower of many petals. For the Aztecs, the flower was sacred and its bright color represented the sun. Native to the Americas, it was cultivated for decorative, magical, medicinal, and agricultural purposes. And they were thought to cure hiccups and were often planted near crops. As a matter of fact, the marigold produces a natural insecticide. Once Spanish explorers discovered the hardy plant, they took the seeds back to Europe. Now hundreds of varieties grow across the globe, including India, where the marigold has become an important ceremonial flower. For Hindus, the marigold symbolizes surrender to the divine. Hello again, Adam Kasky and the lovely Tiffany Huertas here. We're at Margaritaville and we're joined by two very special ladies. Now first, tell us your names and where you're from. I'm Barbara and I'm from Massachusetts. I'm Renee and I'm from Rhode Island. So how have you guys been enjoying tonight so far? Beautiful. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. And it's not only a celebration of the beautiful barges, but of course, honoring and remembering those who we've lost. So yes. can you tell us about who you're honoring tonight? My grandmother, her, birth, her birthday is tomorrow, and she's been gone 45 years. So I miss her every day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a blubber. Hey, that's what this is for. It's okay. It's okay. But, yeah. The altars have been very emotional for us during this week. We went last Sunday. What was the festival we went to last week? Uh, the Hemisphere. Right. And we saw all the altars, and we, it was beautiful but emotional also. Yeah. It's, so, you know, this is all about memories, memories right. of loved ones and making new memories. What are you going to take away from this? How wonderful everybody has been since we got here. Tonight is our last night here. We've been here since last Saturday. And everyone, huh, Renee? Everyone has been so nice. We'll come back. It was an awesome vacation for us. And how about you? Um, this would be for my mom. Um, here with actually two of my sisters um, and my adopted sisters. So that would be in remembrance of her. Hello. Um, yeah, just to honor her. It's such a lovely tradition. It's a lovely tradition. And you both mentioned that you did all of this today. Yes. 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 Stumbled upon it. Yes, we did. And look how amazing you look. Uh, thanks. Yes. We did this this morning. We, we uh, dressed up for Halloween last night, and we were kind of disappointed that we didn't see other people. But we had a good time. We, you know, we went to Augie's Barbecue, and it was a blast. And we were the only ones there, but that's okay. And it's yeah. so detailed. I see the skulls on your screen. Right, right. It was, it, we, we 
did our homework before we came down and made sure we brought all the stuff with us. And uh, at the house this morning, we all did our own makeup and everything. And we, it's just awesome to be part of it. And we actually had a whole bunch of people ask us if they could take our picture, which we, we were like, we're celebrities. We're locals, but I guess we're locals at the moment. <laughs> I think one of the biggest questions for people that didn't get a chance to come here, do you recommend this? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. definitely do it. Yeah. All right, we got to send it back to Mark and Leslie. Thank, Thank you. Back Thank to you. Thank you, guys. Hey, thanks, we, guys. We really appreciate it. We are coming to you live from the Riverwalk. We are on the balcony outside of the Harley Davidson shop. Perfect place as we're seeing all these beautiful barges come by. Crowds are building. People are celebrating the memories and the souls of their loved ones who have passed. We were talking a little bit earlier on the live stream, Leslie, and I think it's, it's worth bringing up now. When we were kind of studying up, doing some homework on yeah. this holiday, um, you and I were found several things quite remarkable. What, what's one of the things that stood out to you? The ofrenda is the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Because I, the fact that you put things out that represent things your loved one loved to help draw them back mm -hmm. on that day, it made me think about, like, my father who passed away. What would I put out for him? Right. And that made me connect in such a way I never thought about before. So what would you have put out in, in their memory to try to call their spirit home? Well, for me, my dad, who called Poppy Fuss, he was everything to me. Mm -hmm. I would have definitely have to have Frank Sinatra music going. <laughs> Port Salut cheese and cognac. And he would have to have Chateaubriand and a Chateauneuf de Pop. You're going to need a bigger altar. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that's lots of stuff. What about I, you? I, I think about my maternal grandfather, mm -hmm. my uh, grandpa Wagner, who served in the U.S. Army in World War II. The altar, I, I'm lucky enough to have some of his uniform. I would set that out. Oh, some of the treats that I remember, day. you know, beverages, things like that that I know he would have loved. I love that. Let's get back to the barges because we have another one coming by. This is tequila. Speaking of all these things we're talking about. <laughs> and beverages. And mezcal. Yes. It's the spirit of celebration in a spirited toast to Dia de, de los Muertos. This barge raises a glass to the departed, celebrating the holiday with tequila and mezcal. In an effort to let the dead who cross over celebrate with the living, Day of the Dead Altars include a shot glass of tequila, pulque, or mezcal, and the departed's choice of beer. The roots of tequila go back to pulque, which was consumed in the pre-Columbian Central Mexico. When the Spanish conquistadors ran out of brandy, they began to steal a guy to produce what we know as tequila, one of North America's first indigenous distilled spirits. We like that tradition. We do. Hey, we like this one, too, the Longhorn. The Longhorn. Let's rodeo San hey, Antonio. Hey. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Not, uh, can't say it like the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, winner of 14 consecutive PRCA Large Indoor Rodeo of the Year honors. San Antonio's rodeo attracts the best rodeo athletes February 6th through 23rd and has an entertainment lineup to suit every music fan. Tickets are already on sale for concerts with performers from Aaron Watson, ZZ Top, Keith Urban, Sammy Hagar, and Bendo Los Sebastianes. Sponsored this bar, Frost Bank, makes a terrific Texas two-step with the rodeo since they've been partners since the rodeo's inception in 1950. Now let's go to Catrinas on the River Parade. Hi there, guys. As we see Katie Blake. And Sarah making a little cameo in our shot. Oh, this is such a wonderful evening. Now, the float that we were just seeing pass by us, Girls, Inc., inspires girls to be strong, smart, and bold, and help girls ages 6 to 18 overcome barriers. Wow, this evening is flying by, isn't it? This is our last float. Is this I, our last float, Sean? Is that, is that actually true? I believe that's what I heard. Well, if it is, should San be coming Antonio around a bit Spurs. here. And I saw the design of this one, the uh, render, but I can't wait to see I it in person. I think that's Pan de Muerto, the Calabritas. Yeah, I think so. No? Oh, my goodness. Look at the skeletons on the bicycle. That is amazing. Look at the detail. And it kind of marries the that's theme of great. Halloween with Day of the Dead. All right, we're going to take another quick break, everybody. Thanks for being with us. We are live on the Riverwalk for the Day of the Dead Parade.
April 15th is World Art Day, and our city is one great big art exhibit. But AARP in San Antonio thinks today should be your day. So connect with us at our dancing and gardening events. Or explore your neighborhood. We're working with you to make it more livable for everyone. We're here in our community helping you live la vida buena. So give life a splash of color and take on today and every day with AARP in San Antonio. Everybody's happy here at ATV. This favor is a part of family. Delivering everything that you need in your neighborhood. Something that tells me y'all are in for something good. Getting wine and beer as easy as can be. You won't even charge for delivery. You need the favor app on your phone, but that's understood. Get anything from H-E-B's huge selection of beer and wine delivered for free in under an hour. Something tells me y'all are in for something good. H-E-B in favor, a match made in Texas. KSAT 12 presents another Day of the Dead story. Day of the Dead is a merger of two traditions, Mexico's indigenous customs and Christianity. But the only thing that has changed is that it's not anymore a pagan celebration. It is a Christian celebration together with the whole church celebrating All Souls Day. This merger began when the first missionaries arrived after the Spanish conquest and they needed a plan. It was a humongous task, but then they said, let's just take their custom, but make it Christian. So they took everything that they had for their cult of the dead, but Christianize it. That is why the Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico very differently to any other parts of the Catholic world. The combining of traditions did bring change. The natives' month-long celebration was shortened. They said, no, it's going to be only one day, which is the official day of the church, the 2nd of November. The shift to Christianity occurred in very troubling times, and it was difficult for both sides. A miracle was needed. Then something happened, the event of Guadalupe. Guadalupe appearing as an Indian woman, she was probably the most important or central element of evangelization and accepting Christianity uh, in the new world. So important that to this day, you'll find her placed atop most altars during Day of the Dead. All right, welcome back everybody live in the San Antonio Riverwalk for the first Day of the Dead River Parade. Just saw the Los Spurs barge go by. It was fantastic. We have some special guests behind us. Earlier we had a chance to talk to some folks. We didn't get a chance to bring them to you, but they were visiting from Houston. Now we have some local folks with we us. We have Aaron and Maria. Thank Hi you guys. guys for being Hi. with us. How are you doing? How are you doing? All right, I'm loving this. Tell me why. G give me some history behind this mask. Well, uh, just out here celebrating the Day of the Dead. Uh, I just kind of got into it about maybe two years back. Mm -hmm. And after understanding it from a cartoon, believe it or not, <laughs> and so now it's uh, it's important. I like it's part of San Antonio's history, so I'm just glad to be a part of it. So, what do you guys think of the inaugural uh, San Antonio doing this on a grand scale for the very first time? I think that would be great. I mean, the floats that we've seen so far, they've been pretty good, mm -hmm. and I know they came from Mexico, so the bigger Falls. Mm -hmm. So, I would think it would be exciting to have that every year. I it's think so too. A celebration Definitely. of this tradition. We agree. Tell me a loved one that you were thinking about and they were honoring on this Day of the Dead. My grandmother. I miss her. Tell me about her. What's her name? And if you were, had an altar out for her, what would you put on it to, <laughs> to, to get her to come back? You know, my grandmother was known for making uh, fried chicken and tea cakes. Oh. And nobody could make tea cakes like my grandmother. And she was from Louisiana, Baton Rouge area. So, yeah, miss her. What about you, Maria? Oh, what would you be on your old friend? Uh, my grandfather, he used to like a lot of old-fashioned Mexican food, tortillas. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be it, mostly the main food. That I he hear a like. lot of tamales. Everybody's like tamales on there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> did, did your grandmother have a favorite music? You know, uh, just mostly uh, gospel music. Mostly gospel for my grandmother. So you'd have some gospel music yeah, playing? Yeah, gospel music. Yes. <laughs> What do you guys think about the concept that we're taking something that goes back to old Mexico, and we obviously know there are ties between San Antonio and Mexico, but bringing something as personal as, as, as Day of the Dead on, on a bigger scale so that it can be shared with more folks? What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea because it kind of gives other people outside of San Antonio 
of what the tradition is and it kind of makes it understand what it is about and I guess seeing the floats and explaining what it's about I think they'll enjoy it and it has been so educational for us and hopefully it is for you at home as well. Aaron and Maria, thank you so much. Enjoy your thank evening. You guys. Very Maria, nice thank you guys. Maria, thank you, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Yes. You guys have a good have rest a of the night. weekend. This is just a little sampling of what we're seeing and the people we are meeting. This has been such a wonderful experience. Let me scoot back next to you here. I wanted to make Come sure on, we could see our friends. Come on. All right, so... Once again, the parade has just ended. I think this first, that was the very last float. I, I believe. believe it was. And I almost don't want to say it, but I kind of feel like I have to. Spurs didn't win last night. That's that's right. Yes, we had to go there. I mean, it is reality. It's reality. It and, is. And, and Kawhi led them to a victory uh, against us. But right. Let's go to Stephen and we're, Sarah yeah, now. We're going to take a break. Our roving reporters, no, our roving reporters, Stephen and Sarah, yeah, where are you guys? We are, I'm Sarah Coles, and this is Stephen Cavazos, and we are at right across the street from the Friendship Torch. And look at this. We have three skulls, and this is the hot spot to take photos. Isn't that right, Stephen? We've been seeing so many people come on by here, again, fully decked out for their Dia de los Muertos celebration here in San Antonio. I think we got a great shot. Are you guys having fun tonight? Everyone is here with their phones out. This is apparently the Instagram hotspot. Everyone's taking these pictures because you are going to see these Galaveta skulls all across downtown. But right here, there's th at least three. Isn't that right, Stephen? Oh, yeah, three here, but we've seen many across Houston Street. We saw some on Broadway and, again, here at Alamo Plaza. And, again, we're seeing have a great view of those parade, the boat parades that was coming down here on the Riverwalk. And, again, the crowd has just been amazing. The energy has been so great out here, really celebrating Dia de los Muertos and bringing it here to San Antonio. It's been really exciting. It is a lot of, there's a lot of interaction here with people, but we're going to see what else is going around on the river. The journey to and through college begins at a young age. From pre-K to middle school to high school. We're dedicated to making sure that all children succeed every step of the way. When you choose Idea Public Schools, you're choosing a school district where the children of San Antonio can reach their full potential and attend the college of their dreams. At Living Spaces, we know Thanksgiving gatherings come in all shapes and sizes. Whether you're celebrating as a couple or preparing for a crowd, we'll help you create a special place for the people you love. We have pieces that allow you to make room for everyone. And with our same-day delivery, you'll have everything you need in time for Thanksgiving. That way, you can focus on what's really important. Living Spaces. Here's to Peter Piper Pizza. Here's to the Hunters, the Gatherers, the Foragers, the Carnivores. Here's to taking family dinner time and making it a feast. Here's to getting carried away, then carried out. Here's to grabbing a slice together. Hey, pepperoni lovers. Right now, get a large extreme pepperoni pizza loaded with two kinds of pepperoni for just $13.49. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. origins of Dia de los Huertos was celebrated centuries ago by the indigenous people of Mexico. Here in San Antonio, we found a group of indigenous descendants preserving those traditions. Latoki for Calpuli Ayolopaxi, which is a traditional uh, Mexica Chichimeca danza group that preserves the Aztec, what's commonly called Aztec uh, dance and tradition here in Central Texas. Dia de los Muertos has become such a beautiful and like visceral experience in so many places. 
that a lot of times we forget that it's part of that legacy that is uh, continuing to live through us and that we're still here. You know, that indigenous people are still here and that our narratives and our stories are still part of this land. From their regalia to their music, they are reconnecting to their ancestors and passing on these traditions to the next generation. What we represent with our regalia and with the position that we have in our community as people that preserve these traditions and bringing back a visual representation of the ancestors. Yet, we do this every day of every year. You know, we honor our ancestors. Those are the teachings that are part of our Calpuli, are part of our community work, and they're part of our intertribal relationships with folks that are originally from these lands and folks that migrate throughout the land, which is what our ancestors have always done. By sharing these traditions and their stories, they're also bringing awareness to not only San Antonio, but also Texas. When we're able to make that kind of impact so many thousands of years ago and it's still alive today, it's a beautiful story that, you know, that unifies us. Katie, this has been oh such a gosh. fun experience It got for busy us. quick down here because we had them coming for the first time and then they turn around and come back oh by. So it's and been a look double what's dose. behind us, Katie. Oh. The Spurs. That's awesome. Is that a Jack Skellington on the Spurs float? I love that. I love that. I wonder how our, our Rockets fans that are visiting feel about that. I don't know. I don't know, but that is very cool. I will say we did have a couple of people visiting from Houston, and I was trying to ask the kid what his favorite sports team was. I thought he was from San Antonio. He said the Rockets, so we'll forgive him for that. All but right. Even Rockets fans can appreciate the Spurs. The Spurs Day of the Dead float. That's a unique San Antonio thing for sure. Definitely. Very cool, very cool. Definitely. So right now we're going to go to another one of our favorite meteorologists, Adam Kasky. He is in Margaritaville. Adam, what's good up there? Hello. See, we're always getting together, working in a new crowd here. The uh, the barges are past us here at Margaritaville. I believe the Spurs one was the last one. That always got it. Gets a big applause. Everybody was loud. You heard that one coming. Anyway, uh, tell us who we're with. And right now, we're with the Panales family, who, of course, is in full dress mode right now. Tell us a little bit about tonight, how it's been so far for you and your experience here. It's been a really nice experience just reflecting on loved ones and traditions that we've grown up with and just being around all these San Antonians celebrating. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you all um, mentioned a little while ago that you're honoring and remembering someone and in your family. That's correct. It's um, grandparents, primarily grandmother, um, who instilled a lot of traditions that we want to continue in our family as well. And what's your name? Abby. Abby, so what was your favorite bars tonight? What was the favorite float that you saw? Uh, really not. Say mariposas. He's mariposas. He's like, say loteria. Yeah, loteria. Yeah, loteria is one of my favorites. <laughs> and how? Tell me about um, your outfits tonight. Uh, well, we just um, decided that we would. Um, we saw throughout the last couple of weeks what was being shown on um, the news, and um, we saw all of that what was being brought from Mexico, and we decided we would. Great add to that with our costumes you tonight. did a good job i like this how long did it take to do everything you know i will be honest with you um i worked all day and then pulled it off in the <laughs> matter of 30 45 minutes so and, and for people at home that wasn't able to come here tonight how do you explain this magical night for them well, I would just say it was a, a full crowd of people um, from San Antonio and not, but everyone just enjoying um, all of the tradition and just coming together as a city. It was wonderful. Absolutely. Great. And we also talked about the altars at home as well. That's part of the Mexican tradition to do that. Um, you mentioned that you might do that in your home one day, right? I, I think it would be a, a great idea to do because the younger generations will lose that if we stop doing it. I can remember that as a child, but that might not be something that my children have seen yet. So what are one of the, what's one of the primary items you'd put there, say, for one of your grandparents? Um, probably, um, well, for myself, it's a piece of jewelry that was left to me that I that I wear to special occasions that are my children's mm -hmm. that she can't come to. That's something that I may keep as a safe in safekeeping there, definitely. Right. Yeah. All right, time for us to send it back to Mark and Leslie.
KSAT 12 presents another Day of the Dead story. During the 60s, uh, the altares became something very powerful for the Chicano community. Uh, many of our Chicanos were being killed in Vietnam. For example, in just Edgewood School District alone, or 55, were killed in Vietnam. And that's not even including the rest of the west side or the south side or the rest of the southwest. And so the altares in the homes became a very powerful, um, it's very personal. My two older brothers went to Vietnam and uh, my cousin didn't come back. On the west side, one of the manifestations that, that is um, particularly beautiful and powerful is the conflation, if you will, of military service among Latino, mostly men in the earlier days, who die in, in service, in the military service serving the U.S. I believe that that conflation of military and Day of the Dead is unique to San Antonio. So basically, uh, during the Vietnam War, the altares took on a very strong and passionate uh, altar that was cultura at its finest. In 1969, a group of visionaries dreamt of a brighter future for San Antonio. Seeking the creation of life-changing opportunities, UTSA, the city's first public university, was born. Today, 50 years later, UTSA is changing lives, making new discoveries, and taking on the grand challenges of our time through inspiring education and transformational research. UTSA, celebrating 50 years of excellence for San Antonio and the world. I love that one. I love it. I love it. It's easy to fall in love with a new Chevy. I love this one, too. And this wow. month is the perfect time to see why. Wow. I love it. That's my next truck. Find your reason to oh fall in love with a new Chevy and get a great deal all month long. I love it. I'm going to go buy a Chevy. <laughs> get 20% below MSRP on all 2019 Silverado double cab pickups. That's over $97.50 on this Silverado. Or during the Black Friday sales event, get 20% below MSRP on other select 2019 models. I just got a standby, and we're back. We're back now? Well, hi there, everybody. Welcome back. We are live. We've been practicing for you. <laughs> for our live streamers. Yeah, now, so it looks like I see us here. And I we're, think we're really on the air now. Yeah, we are really on the air now. So we This can, has been so amazing, watching all of the different crews who are around in different parts of the Riverwalk, and so many people here for the first Day of the Dead parade, dressing up and sharing their stories, the loved ones that they've lost and missed. It's really been an honor to be part of it. I, I love the idea that uh, this is going to happen on a, not only a yearly basis, but that San Antonio kind of wants to be a trailblazer. We're already a destination city. Yes. You know, our culture, of course, the Alamo, the food, the, everything about it now. But now we can add this, another feather in our cap, if you will, to make San Antonio. And again, we've, we've already heard. We've met folks. Yep. We've heard of other folks coming in from around the state. We're, and we're being handed this. Yeah, so this is what we're doing next. So as we prepare to hand things over to oh, Mike and Fiona, okay, so many people time. work so very hard to produce this event, as well as the many segments and tributes you've seen tonight. Right now, we wanted to give you a little glimpse into what it took to create this event. Isis Romero reports. Tell me a little bit about why you guys went to Mexico. The purpose of our trip was to learn about the history of Dia de Muertos. One of our goals was to remain true to the roots of the holiday, to remain true to the traditions, and to be authentic in our storytelling. We really wanted to um, give our viewers a sense of how Mexicans view it and how they perceive the holiday. I would hope that people here in San Antonio get to sort of experience what we experienced because there were some amazing things that we did. 
were you guys surprised about some of the differences in celebrating there uh, as opposed to celebrating maybe here in San Antonio? It's all cyclical to them, and they do believe that even after death that your soul lives on and it is still a part of your family, and it's always going to be a part of your family. What were your biggest challenges there? The altitude was a challenge, and so was the traffic. We had to rearrange our schedule a little bit because of yeah. the traffic and the times it takes to get from one side of the city to the next. I mean, people are zooming in and out. There's motorcyclists kind of going in and out, street vendors, everything and everything you can imagine. I know uh, no shortage of cultural and historical sites in Mexico City. Uh, what was your favorite? Seeing uh, Teotihuacan, the Pyramid of the Sun and the Moon was probably the most special time for me. It's really neat once you get up here. It's worth it. The view is incredible. Climbing the pyramids, being on top of the pyramids was very special because I know in a few years they probably will stop letting people climb them because of the destruction that it causes. The pyramids were great. Uh, the uh, canal tour in Xochimilco was awesome because that was like a, it was like you were transported back to a different age when that's the way that they would sort of move around and travel there in uh, Mexico City. But definitely the Basilica. Uh, de la Virgen de Guadalupe. Being able to see that uh, was pretty amazing. For me, the most special place was the Basilica mm -hmm. of Our Lady. Getting to go there and just witness it firsthand was just, I, I was emotional. Um, they don't allow cameras, professional cameras yeah. in there, so a lot of what you see, we ended up having to shoot on our iPhone. Um, and I just remember not being able to even get my phone up because I was just so in awe of this image. I know that uh, we talk about all these sort of big sort of sites that we were able to visit, but there was a flower market there that was unbelievable because we were looking for the Sempasuchi, mm -hmm. the, the flower there that represents uh, Dia de los Muertos. The smell doesn't translate on TV or through your screen, but it just smells incredible in here. That place was amazing. I mean, the, the arrangements they have for the cemeteries yeah. are just spectacular. You, you just can't believe how much they spend and how much time they spend arranging those flowers. Yeah, and I think another thing that just was a special aspect of our trip was um, the fact that we landed the day after Yesi Seis to go to the Zocalo, yeah, and it was, was awesome. just completely done up for the holiday. Yeah. Um, it was beautiful. I just wanted to know about why you guys wanted to go on this trip and why this trip was important for you personally, either culturally or, or maybe for another reason. Well, if you look at the three of us, you know, the color of our skin, we all share that bond together. Yeah. I think we all felt really personally connected to a lot of what we experienced while in Mexico. You feel welcome there, and um, it's a good feeling. I wanted to see how the uh, past generation celebrated Dia de los Muertos. A lot of my family ancestry lineage it goes back to central Mexico, so that was something that I wanted to explore. Being there and just being able to see all these um, places that I've only heard about from family members, I think was pretty amazing. It was a great, great trip all the way around. And we're back down here in front of Harley Davidson on the world famous San Antonio River Walk with Leslie. And we've got some amazingly decked out guests for Dia de los Muertos. We've got Simon and Juan with us here. And they're here to explain to us why they picked these outfits and what inspired it. And here's the thing you're going to talk about, you're from Monterrey, Mexico. Yes, I'm from Monterrey, Mexico. Monterrey, Mexico. So he's going to tell us about what inspired this in Spanish. Yeah. And you're going to translate. Okay. All right. Okay, el, el, la Catrina fue creada por el muralista um, Diego Rivera, que lo inmortalizó en un mural llamado Un Domingo en la Alameda. Fue como inmortalizó el original creativo e ícono mexicano llamado La Catrina. All right, uh, the outfit La Catrina was uh, by Diego Rivera, and it's talking about the Mexican culture and about the dead and the families that, you know, uh, it's like a respect to the dead. Well, would you guys look terrific? Thank you. I hope you're having fun. Considering you're from Mexico, I hope you're having a good time today. Thank, thank you. It's my first time here, and, and I enjoyed it. It's very nice. 
This is very nice. Awesome. Bring the cultura here. Guys, again, you look fantastic. Appreciate Good it. Good job. Nice to, nice to meet you both. Very Thank nice you. to meet you. I'll enjoy Thank your evening. Thank you, guys. All right. Very much. Appreciate it. We're going to wrap you. it up here from outside Harley yes. Davidson because it's time for our friends at SA Live to take over. Yes, Mike and Fiona are standing by at La Vita. Hey, guys. Oh, we bring you now to La Vita Historic Market where the celebration continues for the Day of the Dead, San Antonio Katrina's on the River Parade. The procession coming in from the Arneson River Theater into La Vita. All of those beautiful Day of the Dead barges have now docked. The crowds are here and ready to celebrate and remember with colorful performances, food libations, the best of Mexican tradition melded with our own San Antonio flavor. It is a beautiful evening out here. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. What a beautiful celebration here at La Vita. We've been here since earlier this afternoon, and folks have just been pouring in all ready for the celebrations tonight. Yes, they have, and they're having a good time with a lot of the, you know, the, the sounds and the tastes, and, of course, celebrating and remembering all of loved ones. Joining us now is Vanessa Bessler, founder and artistic director of the Children's Ballet of San Antonio. How are you, Vanessa? It's Hello, so good to see you. We saw beautiful performances earlier with a lot of the performers from the Children's Ballet, and you brought some of the gals with you here tonight, now, right? Now, while they perform, tell us a little about what, what they're, we're seeing. Well, we have different interpretations this weekend about the Katrinas. There is the dance of Katrinas and Katrins. There is alebrijes, there is folklorico dancers, the dances of calaveras. So we have a very eclectic program, mixing, mixing different styles, discipline of dance, all fusion in a wonderful mix of talent. And speaking of talent, who are our dancers this evening? Well, we have here Regan Bishop, one of our stars of the children's ballet, Gigi Nato and Annie Myers. And we take pride because we take dancers uh, starting three-year-olds to 19. And you see these itty bitties are seven-year-olds and uh, Regan is 13-year-old. So this is a great opportunity to showcase our artists. The artists of San Antonio is such a wonderful international event like Day of the Dead San Antonio. It, you're only one, of, only one of only the few dance companies, if the only one in Texas, that does that, right? Yes, we are the only company that uh, offer professional level performances with dances starting at three year old to 19, through 19 year old. But we work a lot with these dancers and um, nurture their artistry. And at ages seven, seven, eight year old, we allow them to audition for important roles in the production. So we give. We are the only ones that give opportunity to the babies as well as the uh, older dancers through the productions and the performances that we do. And speaking of productions and performances, you've been working closely with the Day of the Dead San Antonio choreographers. Tell us what that means for you. This has been an amazing experience working with Carlita Powers and Eric Carpio. And the past two, three weeks, we have been, uh, they have been working with our dancers. They took the material that we have and bring it 365 degrees twist and create a fusion of all the mixes, mixes, uh, mixed styles of dance, dances and different dancers with different skills and had come with a wonderful spe spectacle that expect the unexpected. And you have dancers from itty bitties all the way up. And if nobody's ever danced before, you're going to teach them how, right? Yes. We are here to nurture and develop the love for dance and bring the arts to everywhere. So we start with no skills and we start building up from there until we get to the levels of amazing award winners that we have in our casting. Where can folks go for more information on the Children's Ballet of San Antonio? to our website, www.childrensballetofsanantonio.org. And the next big show, of course, is... The Nutcracker. Children's Nutcracker. Coming up end of November, right? November 21, 22, and 23 at the Lila Cockrell. And the tickets, you can get them at Ticketmaster. But this is going to be an special Nutcracker because we are going Century 21 Nutcracker. And again, amazing things are going to happen in the stage. And it's going to touch the heart of every family. It's for all ages because there are many scenes that is 
what we live in today's times. Thank you so much, Vanessa. We really, really appreciate it. And to the ladies, they did an absolutely fantastic job. Well, performers of all kinds, both music and dance, are out here at La Vita tonight. And we're talking to the man behind this whole event. That's right, President and CEO of Day of the Dead San Antonio, Javier Ruiz Galindo. Well, your assessment, what do you think? No, I'm very pleased. Uh, the response has been great. People have come. I think the River Parade was very good and, you know, beautiful. And I think that, uh, I think it's the beginning of something that will stay for a long time in San Antonio. Now, a lot of work went into putting this on and you had some pretty big plans coming in, right? Yes, we do. We have a race tomorrow. We have a, a 5K race at Mission Park. And we still have La Villita for a couple of days. And uh, we're here to stay. We're, we're here for a long time. What was the inspiration behind this? Of course, the, the Day of the Dead celebration is to celebrate and remember, but this is a, a pretty big undertaking. Well, the, the idea is, you know, celebrate and remember those that you love, of course, and, and the expressions of art. So we try to mix culture with this. We try to mix, uh, you know, different artists. We have 45 skulls around the city that are painted by artists from Mexico and local artists, 15 local artists. We have uh, some pieces in different museums. We have the Weedy Museum and we have uh, Briscoe Museum. And then we did the River Parade. And, you know, every barge was prepared by artists. So, I mean, if you really look at them, there's a lot of work behind, there's a lot of effort. And there's a lot of Mexico, there's a lot of tradition, there's a lot of heart on them. So uh, I think that we're going to continue building more barges to make it a bigger parade. And uh, we just love the, the, the reaction of the people in San Antonio. So this is just the beginning, right? It is just the beginning. They like, like so many great traditions that we have here, this is now going to be one of those traditions that families come to and, and, and just plan on every year, right? Absolutely. We're here. We're here to stay. Uh, Thank you so much, fantastic Javier. Fantastic job. <laughs> Appreciate it, Javier. Well, of course, we have seen some super performances on all the little parade barges, celebration, and of course, here in La Vita, like we were talking about, all the sounds and, of course, the tastes of La Vita. Oh, yes, and David Elder is down with another great presence Oops, at sorry. the celebration tonight. Chef yep. Johnny He's Hernandez. He's still or out there cooking around. Johnny Hernandez is, but David is still down okay. there, and I think he has found some food. David. How y'all doing? Yeah, actually, so Johnny Hernandez, he is he is somewhere. He is, he is a busy, busy man. And you know what? With me here right now, though, Miguel Adrienz is here, here with me. You're actually the owner of a lot of churro stands here around San Antonio, right? Yeah, I'm the owner of Churro Star. Then we are outside La Margarita, Market Square. We are in uh, HEB Plus, Arzamora al Militari, and also outside El Bucanero. And you have a lot of fans out here. How many people have had some churros? Are you waiting for some out here? Yeah. People out here. I'll tell you what. I've been standing right here. I've been smelling them the whole time, and I, I'm waiting for one too. But now, Miguel, talk to me. What does Day of the Dead mean to you? And have you celebrated this before, or as you grew up? Yeah, this is very special day in Mexico. We remember our dead, and as they are in our memory, they still alive. And normally, we went to the cemetery. We share their food. We're expecting they come that night. And yeah, really. It's a very special celebration for us. And now you said um, you actually grew up in, in Monterrey, right? right? I'm from Monterrey, Mexico. My grandpa is from uh, Valencia, España. And in Mexico, the churros is like the pan de muertos. We, in all the cemeteries, all the, the, the places, we have churros. And it's how I grow with this tradition. And now I'm here in San Antonio trying to share the Spanish heritage. I really appreciate that. And actually, you mentioned to me earlier, you were actually a Spanish teacher at Antonian High School here in San Antonio as well. So you actually got to share your knowledge with the children and the youth of San Antonio as well. Yeah, exactly. And that's why uh, I decided also to share that passion that I have, the churros. But I have two passion: the Spanish and the, the churros. And, and it's how I, I try to contribute with the culture in San Antonio. That's fantastic. You know, this has uh, been a great event so far. You can see a lot of people coming out here, paying respects uh, to loved ones that have passed, and also just remembering those that have passed as well. We have different altars all around here, and also, of course, they can come over here, and they can get a delicious churro. But like you said, it's like the pan de muerto, that's, and then that it was from over there. But we have them over here. Miguel, thank you so much for talking with us right now. Yes, I'm going to try one. Give me one right here. Give me one. No, 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 I'm going <laughs> to. 
I don't want to mess it up, but we're going to send it back to Mike and Fiona over there on the main stage here at La Vita, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat a churro. And of course, doggy bag. Although, yeah, although we I, already tasted those. I, had, I think we ordered four or six bags or something. I don't know. I lost count. But they were so incredibly delicious. And, and we walked around, everybody, you know, with the bag, and they're like, yeah, gra and they grab yeah. the bag, and then yeah. they just disappear like chocolate that. Chocolate dipping. And, the chocolate and then scene. caramel dipping. Ah, oh, yes, ah, yes. Exactly. I'll tell you what, we right. are just getting started here, and we are going to have so much more fun with the celebration, Day of the Dead of San Antonio. We're hearing from our Grand Marshals nonprofit, Eva's Heroes. They had a barge floating in the parade, so don't go anywhere. You're watching the Day of the Dead San Antonio celebration at La Vida, powered by HEB, here on KSAT 12. That was a pickup truck. Yeah, he's a speeder. Here comes a minivan. Whoa, a texter. Ooh, big oil truck. Those guys are hard to pass. School bus. Lots of stops. Cattle truck. Hey, boys. <laughs> oh, you're blushing, Larry. When business is booming, the roads get crowded. Slow down, give big trucks lots of room, and pay attention. Be safe. Drive smart. With HEB curbside and delivery, we shop how you shop, so you get exactly what you want. We thump how you thump. We squeeze how you squeeze. We pick and sort and choose from our outstanding meat and produce, just how you would if you were here. But instead, you can be there. We do all the heavy lifting, and it's ready when you want it. HEB curbside and delivery. It's never been easier to shop HEB. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. After an auto or truck accident, you have options. You have choices that can make the difference between winning or losing. Choices between receiving great service or not. I'm attorney Jamie Shaw with Caravan Shaw. It's our goal to have the best lawyers on your side the best accident investigators, and the best medical experts to treat and document your injuries. After an accident, you need an experienced and dedicated team fighting for you. For a free consultation, call or Google Carabin Shaw. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. Good Time Charlie's. Family-friendly prices open seven days a week. Our lunch specials are faster, fresher, and so much better than fast food. Everything we prepare is made from scratch. It's what we do. It's what we've been doing for 40 years. Try our hand-battered, wild-caught Texas Gulf shrimp or cross the border for our Mexican specialties. Hungry yet? If it's lunch, dinner, or a late night out, it's got to be Good Time Charlie's. 40 years and counting. Broadway at Mulberry. Open every day till midnight. Everybody's happy here at ATV. This favor is a part of family. Delivering everything that you need in your neighborhood. Something that tells me y'all are in for something good. Getting wine and beer as easy as can be. We won't even charge for delivery. You need the favor app on your phone, but that's understood. Get anything from HEB's huge selection of beer and wine delivered for free in under an hour. Something that tells me y'all are in for something good. HEB in favor, a match made in Texas. The celebration is ramping 
up here at La Vita as we honor the Day of the Dead here in San Antonio. And of course, as you witnessed, the Grand Marshal was none other than Eva Longoria, famous actress. Everybody knows Eva Longoria, and of course, a lot of people know her because of the wonderful foundation she has, Eva's Heroes. And we got a chance to chat with the executive director of that organization to hear all about it. Take a look. It's a foundation dedicated to enriching the lives of individuals with special needs. Christiane Garcia is the co-founder and executive director of Eva's Heroes. Thank you so much for being here, and big, big night with Eva Longoria being oh, the Grand Marshal. It's huge. Thank you so much for having me on, and we are so incredibly excited that Eva's Heroes gets to be part of this such a special and, and just unique uh, celebration for our city. Uh, the fact that we get to be a part of it is just huge for us and we are just thrilled. So beyond being thrilled, I mean, what does it mean for the foundation to just kind of be in the national spotlight like this? Oh, it's incredible, you know, because we really want folks to know what we're providing for our community right here in San Antonio. You know, there's no other organization providing the unique socialization opportunities that we provide week in, week out. Um, for individuals with intellectual special needs and we just we're so excited that more families are going to learn about the programs that we provide because you said for adult once folks are out of high school there's not much not many programs for these activities every day right? correct correct yes once they leave the school system uh, the opportunities to socialize with their peers is very few and far between and so that's what we do we try to get out there get in, San, in the San Antonio spotlight um, we have so many activities in this city um, and so we have staff uh, highly qualified staff that accompany our participants to any activity you and I can do here in San Antonio and so it's just really fantastic and you know we hope that more families will look us up and join us for all these activities so on the barge besides Eva who else gets to be on it oh well we're so excited we have some of our participants and actually they're parents that will be joining us as well so uh, that's a unique opportunity right there because not many folks get to be in this parade um, and just we love to showcase our participants anytime that we can and so this is another unique opportunity an opportunity for them to be uh, you know participating in such a great celebration for our city the day of the dead is such a part of the culture here in San Antonio what does it mean for you well you know I it just it's such a special uh, opportunity for us to really slow down and remember those that we've lost you know those that are so special to us and we keep in our hearts and in our, our memories forever um, and it's just so special uh, that our city has done such an incredible uh, job of allowing us to remember them in such a grand way and it just really touches my heart of course being Latina it's something that's special to us to our families and and just to really pause and really think about what the meaning of the Day of the Dead is and so it really is so special I'm so thankful uh, that our city has done this for us back to Eva's heroes if somebody wants to get involved maybe help out or if they have a child that wants to you know get social and get all these social activities oh absolutely we would love to have anyone that, that, that is not on our uh, in our database yet to please call us uh, go to our website we have an email address there where you can easily sign up to get our emails um, and so you can see all the, the vast array of opportunities we have to socialize uh, throughout the year. Our, our programs do start at age 14, but there's no cap. So any adult, any age is welcome to come. And we really, really want anybody that's not uh, part of our programs yet, please send us an email. Give us a call in the office. All of the information can be found uh, on our website at evasheroes.org. And here's an interesting little side note. Of course, a lot of the Eva's Heroes participants were on the barge with her tonight, except for her <laughs> older sister, Lisa. Yes. You know where she is? Whom she started the foundation for. She's going bowling tonight. Friday's their bowling the group, night. Because Friday is their bowling night, and they are very excited about that. Yeah, and, and Christiane said, I mean, they get, like everybody else, hey, it's bowling night. Nothing's going to stand between them and bowling Not night. Not even so. being on the barge with my sister. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so much meaning behind everything you see here. Yep. Beautiful altars are set up here at La Vieta for a Day of the Dead San Antonio. We're going to be talking to one of the artists behind the making of this Day of the Dead altar up next. Yep. So don't go anywhere. You're watching Day of the Dead San Antonio celebration coverage right here on KSAT 12, powered by HEB. One pick can save you time. Text a photo of your hard-to-find part to Faucet Parts and let us help you find it today. Why wait? Our
Black Friday savings start now with 15 to 25 percent off MSRP on our entire lot at Nile Maxwell Castroville. Come celebrate the grand opening of your new Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram headquarters with thousands in savings on hundreds of new Rams. Take 20 percent off the sticker on all our select 2019 Ram 1500s in stock. All with Nile's personal promise to beat anybody's price in South Texas on a new Ram pickup. Bring us any deal, we'll beat it. Who will? Who will? Have a deal. Nile Maxwell's got the trucks. America's oil and gas moves through 2.4 million miles of underground pipelines safely. But one of those pipelines were gone. We would need 90,000 more tanker trucks or 27,000 more rail cars every single day just to meet our energy needs. So, do you want this, this, or this? We move America's energy. We are Energy Transfer. April 15th is World Art Day, and our city is one great big art exhibit. But AARP in San Antonio thinks today should be your day. So connect with us at our dancing and gardening events, or explore your neighborhood. We're working with you to make it more livable for everyone. We're here in our community helping you live la vida buena. So give life a splash of color and take on today and every day with AARP in San Antonio. Meet Ken and Kate Smith. Like most couples, they run on opposite schedules. And like most couples, they're losing sleep over it. They decided to get an adjustable base from the Revive Sleep Center at Living Spaces. And life is already better. Finally, the early bird and the night owl are living in harmony. Thanks to features like Bluetooth technology, visit the Revive Sleep Center at Living Spaces to get your adjustable base today. Living Spaces. If you or your family are injured, the law offices of Fidel Rodriguez Jr. will fight to get you what you deserve. We are here to serve you and would be honored to be your attorney. Gimmicks don't win in the courtroom. Call the law offices of Fidel Rodriguez Jr. Serious lawyers for serious injuries. Introducing Papa John's new Papadillas. Papa's best tastes now in sandwiches. Each one filled with Papa's best quality meats and cheeses. Made to order and made to satisfy. The new Papadillas for just six bucks. Only at Papa John's. Welcome back to La Vita Historic Arts Village where we are celebrating Day of the Dead San Antonio. And there are so many people out here at La Vita. The beautiful altars are set up right across from us at the uh, church right here at La Vita. As a matter of fact, there was just a wedding ceremony <laughs> earlier this afternoon when we got here. And Jen Tobias Trusky is right over there to give us a closer look at some of these beautiful altars. Hi, Jen. Thanks, guys. Yes, so many beautiful ofrendas that we've seen in and throughout La Vita. And I'm here with Manola Ramirez and her team who put together this beautiful altar. So tell me why this one is so special. This one is very special because it's dedicated to all our mothers and mother figures that we had in our lives that made a big impact. And so we wanted to celebrate their memories and honor them. And we chose to do an altar and ofrenda for the mothers. For the mothers. So uh, what inspired you and your lovely team here to do that? Obviously, we care about our mothers. They mean a lot to us. They do a lot in the mother figures as well. So is that part of what inspired you? Yes, uh, very much so. I want wanted to honor my father's mother, so my grandmother, so we have her picture here, and we also wanted to celebrate our grandmothers um, and friends, mm -hmm. so we made it a community thing, and we invited people to share um, pictures of their mothers so that they could be part of the ofrenda as well. And yeah, it's a very special ofrenda. Beautiful. And everything has a meaning. And so for this particular one, you went with three levels because you said you can have different levels, right? So, yes. and you have that. You want to talk a little bit about what you have on there? Uh, well, we chose to go very traditional with uh, the ofrenda. We have the food, we have our cross. We have incense and salt and water. It's all very important to the ofrendas. But we also chose to do a modern twist to the, to the arch. We chose to incorporate balloons. It's something that's not very, uh, it's not seen very much, 
but we sort of wanted to incorporate a modern twist to the ofrenda yeah. and that was the way we chose to do it. Well, I love that and I love the butterflies and what's beautiful to me is how these traditions can evolve and yeah. so you can do that and you can even start a tradition this year if you wanted to with your family if you haven't done it before, right? Yes, totally. If you guys want to come down for the weekend, you guys can get inspiration from these altars so you can start your yeah all right well come on down and we'll be right back after this break thank you manola thank, thank you guys Join Ashley Home Store in honoring our veterans during the Veterans Day sale. This year, we're proud to partner with Welcome Home to help local veterans. Stop by Ashley Home Store to make a donation and we'll match it. Plus, shop and save $100 for every $500 you spend. Only at Ashley Home Store. The journey to and through college begins at a young age. From pre-K to middle school to high school. We're dedicated to making sure that all children succeed every step of the way. When you choose Idea Public Schools, you're choosing a school district where the children of San Antonio can reach their full potential and attend the college of their dreams. Get your game on when you bring your auto loan to Generations Federal Credit Union. With auto loan rates from 2.74% APR, no payments up to 90 days, and a refinance rebate up to $300, you could score $1,800 cash in your pocket when you refinance your auto loan at Generations Federal Credit Union. Apply at mygenfcu.org and get your auto loan game on today. Membership eligibility requirements apply. Loan subject to credit approval. For complete terms and conditions, visit mygenfcu.org. Federally insured by NCUA. With HEB curbside and delivery, we shop how you shop, so you get exactly what you want. We thump how you thump. We squeeze how you squeeze. We pick and sort and choose from our outstanding meat and produce, just how you would if you were here. But instead, you can be there. We do all the heavy lifting, and it's ready when you want it. HEB curbside and delivery. It's never been easier to shop HEB. Health Texas Primary Care Doctors, keeping Texans healthy. What is a Medicare Advantage plan, and is it right for me? That's a question I hear from my patients virtually every day. Traditional Medicare is available to anyone who qualifies and covers a portion of your medical costs if you get sick or hurt. You'll also need an additional prescription plan known as Medicare Part D, which likely comes at an additional monthly premium. In contrast, a Medicare Advantage plan covers all that basic Medicare has to offer, including Medicare Part D, with much more additional services, such as hospital coverage, doctor coverage, annual physicals, prescription coverage, transportation assistance, and referrals to specialists. These plans often come at no additional premium. Consult your nearest Health Texas doctor and see if a Medicare Advantage plan is the right plan for you. To find a Health Texas doctor or location near you, go to healthtexas.org or call us at 210-731-HTMG. Ashley Home Store's Veterans Day Sale is going on now. Shop and save $100 for every $500 you spend or pay 0% interest for six full years. Plus, bring in your military ID and receive an additional 10% off. Going on now at Ashley Home Store. This is home. Well, we talk about educating... We talk about educating and just how important that is during Dia de los Muertos. So I went out to St. Luke's Catholic School to talk to some of the children, the altars, the sugar schools, the cultural and religious ties, all part of the Spanish curriculum. Hear what the kids had to say about it. countries, the Spanish-speaking countries, and Day of the Dead is widely ce celebrated in Mexico, and it's part of the, the culture. It means a lot to me. Like, we always put up pictures of, like, people who have passed away in my family. We don't always do, like, a big altar, but we do put up pictures. And we pray every day about the people. Um, I like making the sugar schools because every year we make one for my grandparents and the people who have passed away. And it's always been a tradition with my mom because we always go to a museum and we make them. And then we put them up at our friend at home. And that's my favorite part. They love it because they, some of them have uh, uh, 
relatives or loved ones that have passed away and it's a way for them to remember them? Um, it makes me feel happy that I get to, I, I feel it inside that they come and celebrate it with us, that they come down, like we come back together as a family. And they love it, they get very excited to, because first of all, they, they're knowing about the culture and the festivities and the preparations and all that, that is involved in this, in this celebration. It's, it's not scary, it's just like we're celebrating the people that have passed away, relatives that have passed. It makes me feel good that we can connect with the people that passed. The water, the earth, that's the plants and food, the salt and the, the light of the candles. I feel really good that we're able to put like this altar together here at school. All right, those kids were adorable. And you know, their favorite part about it too was that they each got to color a skull and they were so proud to remember those that they lost, but also people who were still with them, they used that as inspiration. It was adorable. That's so, fantastic. But you also went out and did something with the religious aspect of all of I the did. celebrations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually got to take a trip over to San Fernando Cathedral. And coming up right after the break, we're gonna take you in there and talk to you about the ties between the Dia de los Muertos and then the All Saints Day and the All Souls Day mm -hmm. in the Catholic religion. So don't go anywhere. The celebration continues here at La Vieta for the Day of the Dead, San Antonio Catrinas on the River Parade, powered by HEB. Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction. CaliforniaClosets.com. The good, the bad, and the money continues with the November cash giveaway at Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. Ten guests will split a $100,000 prize with one lucky guest taking home half on November 24th. Come and play. We got a problem, gentlemen? Yeah, we got a problem. We're going to take that wad from yours, old man. <laughs> Martial Arts. Take a lesson in confidence. At 24,000 square feet, America's Diamond in San Antonio is the largest design and manufacturing jewelry store in America. You can buy direct from America's Diamond and get much better quality jewelry for much less money. Everyone gets our very lowest, clearly marked manufacturer's price every day of the year. Watch our television program called Buying Diamonds Intelligently right now at americasdiamond.com. America's Diamond is the official jeweler of the San Antonio Spurs and the University of Texas at San Antonio Athletics. San Antonio, Texas, our, our home. home. I'm Alex Biga. And I'm Javier Villarreal. We live here. We work here. Just like you do. When going to work or to visit our family, we drive the same roads. Over the years, we've represented thousands of Texas families in the courtroom and recovered millions of dollars. When someone in our community gets hurt by a bad driver, it's our honor to defend them. We are the Texas Law Guns. Defenders of the people, fighting for justice. Come in today and experience the All Smiles difference. Have you lost that confident smile because of missing teeth? Dental implants are your answer. And All Smiles Dental Center is offering huge savings this month on dental implant treatment. Call today to schedule your consultation and receive $500 off your dental implant treatment. Don't miss out on this short time offer. In-office financing is also available. Get your confident smile back today at All Smiles Dental Center. Kickapoo Luck Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass, Texas invites you to come and stay. Come and eat. Come and play. Come and win. Come and see it for yourself. Come and play. of San Antonio and people around the world are preparing to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, it's important to remember the cultural and the religious significance of the holiday. So I came out here to San Fernando Cathedral in the heart of downtown San Antonio to speak with Father Victor Valdez to get more insight into what this holiday actually means. 
The San Fernando Cathedral was founded in 1731 and is the oldest continuously functioning religious community in the state of Texas. Father Victor welcomes the community to join the church in celebrating All Saints Day and All Souls Day, even if you're not Catholic. We're all uh, relational people. We're all human beings. We're all creative by the one creator. So even if, you know, they're not Catholic, we're invited, invited to come together and reflect. In the Catholic Church, All Souls Day is tomorrow, November 2nd. Today, November 1st, is All Saints Day. Of course, All Souls Day is we, we come together, we have a, a mass uh, for that day. And uh, of course, we come in, we're praying for all those souls that are deceased. And, and part of that process is that, of course, here on earth, we're, our belief is in the church is that, you know, we're, we're a fallen, we have a fallen nature. And of course, we need purgation. We need to go through a sense of uh, purifying. In a sense, so that part of the prayers here, praying for the souls, that way they can get into heaven. And of course, uh, our Lord, with all His love, it's about embracing all those souls. And of course, All Saints Day is, uh, as I mentioned, it's like uh, we're always looking forward to being part of those community of saints. And we have so many saints within the church, and so much to learn about those saints, you know, because they walked here on earth and they struggled, they had their challenges, but at the same time, they also went to a sense of purgation as well, so they can make it to be there in the heavenly kingdom. And we're all directed and you know, headed to that to that uh to be part of that realm if you're interested in taking part in an event with the church there's an event happening tomorrow for all souls day saturday the archbishop will be here uh, about quarter to five and basically he's kind of an inauguration inauguration and uh, we have about three altars out on main plaza in front of the cathedral and those were more uh made to kind of like uh, the day of the dead uh, all souls and uh, basically he's going to invite the people to come in to celebrate the Mass, and then basically it's kind of representing, this is what we're headed to in a sense right here. Uh, we have the crucifix, and then we have all the saints that are here as well. Uh, these are all saints, uh, martyrs, uh, those that have died for the faith. Um, these are all people that we need to look up to and actually pray to, to intercede for us so they can help us in our journey, and of course, making it into heaven. The most important part of Dia de los Muertos, remembering the true meaning of the holiday kind of a time to reflect, really. Reflecting on who we are as creation, you know, uh, our movement through this, this earth, and of course, looking forward to eternal life. For SA Live, I'm David Elder. Yes, and if you're interested in participating in the event happening tomorrow at San Fernando Cathedral, it starts at 5 p.m. tomorrow, and the church is actually saying that everyone is welcome if you want to come out and participate. And now we're going to move over to these calaveras that you'll see in the street. So you may have seen these giant painted, in some cases, mosaic skulls around town. They're a larger version of the calaveras that we see around this time of year. And here to tell us more about this one is artist Cristina Noriega. How's it going? It's going great. So nice to be here. Now, tell us about the inspiration by behind your school here. I see there's a lot of things going on all around it. Sure, sure. So I like to say before there was Cesar Chavez, there was Emma Tenayuca. She was a labor leader from San Antonio, born and raised here, um, went to Brackenridge High School. And she, in 1938, she led the Southern Pecan Sheller strike because at the time, so many Mexican, Mexican-Americans on the west side of San Antonio working in under uh, for almost slave wages. And so she really fought for them. Um, and it's a beautiful story that we didn't learn. I'm from San Antonio. We weren't taught this in school. So this is an opportunity to honor her and our history and our culture. Um, my own grandmother was a pecan sheller and worked alongside him. And I think that that's something it's, so it's personally meaningful for me as well. And now, um, as an artist, have you ever done anything on this scale before? You know, I, I am a muralist. I'm used to painting large scale, but there's something different about painting on a 3D image like, like a, a skull. So this was a new challenge for me, um, but I'm, I was really pleased with how it turned out and using the, um, the powerful imagery to tell the story. And I used the top, the sides, the bottom, and everything. It really is gorgeous. Now tell us, when the skull leaves over here at La Villita, where can people see it? Well, it'll be here through the long week and probably uh, midway into next week. After that, it's, it's future and the, the future of the other 15 locally designed skulls. Um, I'm not sure where they're going to be long term, but if you definitely want to see it, come in the next few days. It'll be on display along with, again, I'm one of 15 local artists that created um, skulls, and there are also 35 that are along Houston Street that were created by Mexican artists, and that's a real treat to get to see that as well. Well, Christina, thank you so much, and these skulls are gorgeous. You can see them right here right now at La Vita, but we'll be tossing it back to Mike and Fiona, they're on the main stage. 
Those things are so right. cool looking. Yes, and you might see smaller versions of Calaveras on altars around town. Yep. All right. Up next, Jen Tobias Strusky takes us up to uh, Carolina's Antiques, where she catches up with people who are sharing a rich tapestry of emotions behind the traditional altars in homes here in San Antonio. You're watching the Day of the Dead celebration powered by HEB on KSAT 12. Start your morning grind with fresh ground coffee from Circle K. Every cup is now freshly ground and brewed just for you in under a minute. You can choose from a variety of blends, too, hot or iced, any way you like it. Grab a simply great coffee today. Circle K, take it easy. I love that one. I love it. I love it. It's easy to fall in love with a new Chevy. I love this one, too. And this wow. month is the perfect time to see why. Wow. I love it. That's my next crop. Find your reason to oh fall in love with a new Chevy and get a great deal all month long. I love it. I'm going to go buy a Chevy. <laughs> get 20% below MSRP on all 2019 Silverado double cab pickups. That's over $97.50 on this Silverado. Or during the Black Friday sales event, get 20% below MSRP on other select 2019 models. I called Aspen Dental because I had a dental emergency. They assessed it right away. We're going to get you out of pain right now and be able to keep the tooth because that was really important to me. She sat down, this is what we're looking at financially. Can you work with this? She didn't try to focus on anything that was unnecessary. She's like, let's get you comfortable now. That was being treated royally. At Aspen Dental, we're all about yes. Like yes to payments on your timeline, not ours. Yes to zero down and zero interest. And yes, we're all about the royal treatment. Call or book online at AspenDental.com. from H-E-B's huge selection of beer and wine delivered for free in under an hour. Something tells me y'all are in for something good. H-E-B in favor, a match made in Texas. Time crunched for lunch? At Peter Piper Pizza, our weekday lunch buffet has you covered. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Enjoy all you can eat handcrafted pizzas. Fresh chopped salads, appetizers, and desserts. All for just $6.99. It's lunch that's ready when you are. So make the most of your time and your money at the Peter Piper Pizza Lunch Buffet. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. Hi, folks. You do everything else with your phone. So why not buy your new Jordan Ford with it? To celebrate Jordan Ford's 100-year anniversary, we're taking our simple and easy menu pricing to the next level by saving you money and your valuable time. Watch this. Go to jordanford.com, click Express Shop, find your vehicle, your payment, and your trading value. And boom, it's waiting right here with your name on it. Jordan Ford, I-35 North at the Pat Booker exit or Express Shop at jordanford.com. Wake up and win with GMSA. Wait for Circle K's secret word of the day. Then enter it on ksat.com for a chance at a $25 gift card. Every entry wins a free medium iced coffee. Plus, you could win the monthly car wash giveaway. We are Circle K and GMSA. As you can see, the crowd is still out here. Uh, a lot of people here celebrating, and we talk about the joy, the culture, the sadness, all these emotions tied to Dia de los Muertos. I went out to Carolina's Antiques, where they embrace the Mexican culture all year long. Hear what some locals there had to say about honoring their loved ones during this significant time of the year. <laughs> Of the dead means remembering our loved ones that have passed uh, we have started making an altar at home to uh, show our children what what uh, we used to see when we were growing up we used to go to the cemetery we heard the mariachis we eat all the food because in our tradition they're supposed to, the the people that are really left us they come back and uh, spend the time with us so we sit down in the graves and we eat and we try the lotes, the everything, all kind of food, and you'll hear all kind of music. Uh, my mom passed away two years ago. 
December, sorry, I still get emotional about that, but she, she passed away in December, um, this coming, it'll be two years, and so I'm still trying to get used to not having her in my life. Um, I was her caretaker, and so, you know, it's not, I don't wanna, be, I don't wanna be always sad to remember, to remember her, but so we wanna celebrate that. We wanna celebrate all her memories, everything that she meant uh, to me and to my brothers and to my son. I think it's important to carry on these traditions because they're so beautiful in our culture, and it's just something that's so great, you know, and I think it's important to see, you know, from generations to generations how it just evolves and gets more colorful and more beautiful. To me, I see that it gets every year bigger and better. It's, honestly, this is one of my favorite parts of my culture. My mom's taught us this since we were kids, kids. She's taught us how to build our altar from the ground up. And it's something that I hold very dear to me because I feel in this world, especially in the climate today, we should really bridge cultural divides. I think it's more embr embracing the memories. The sadness is always there because we think of them, especially during the holidays or special birthdays, anniversaries. But uh, we, re we remember the good times too. And, can't let go of those. And you'll find like, ay, es, es, que, es, que, es que tengo el altar, or, you know, it's always something like you really feel it. You have the feeling once you have everything up, you wanna just put everything in how they've already mentioned, like you wanna give them everything that they wanted because they're they are there. It seems like they we have a piece of them there. Uh-huh. Um, Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos has uh, a huge meaning to our family. It's very special to us, especially with uh, my grandma and my grandpa not being with us anymore. Uh, we love to keep them in our in our hearts and our spirits and, and remember them in happy ways and good ways. And Dia de los Muertos does that for us. And the best uh, way to celebrate is remember them and the way they used to be. They like to drink, they like to party, they like to be mean. That's what we're here for too, educate people to spread such beautiful things like this around, not just hold it and it's just for us. No, like spread it, spread it with love, spread it with respect, spread it with everything you have. It's a continuation of generations and hoping that one day they'll carry on the tradition. Well, I just love hearing what everybody has to say. You know, being from San Antonio, this is not something that I did with my family. So I love that it can evolve. You can start the tradition even now. And I learned a lot. And one thing I got from Anthony, uh, one of the gentlemen that I spoke to there, is that beautiful feeling that he got when he got to go shop for his loved ones who have passed because it's like they're still with us. I loved hearing them talk about that. They all got emotional. Mike, Fiona, back to you. My goodness. Oh. Well, I mean, take a look at some of the crowd behind us right now here at La Vida as the celebration the wave. continues. I know. Y'all wave! Yay. Wave! Yes! <laughs> like we said, we got down here about 3.30 this afternoon, and there were already a few hundred people, and I'd say at least a couple of thousand down here just out to have a great time in La Vida, and of course... Remember and honor? Ce celebrate, yeah, yeah. Remember, honor, celebrate. Our loved, loved ones. ones. Yes. Okay. Well, still so much to see and do here at La Vida for the Day of the Dead San Antonio celebration tonight and through the weekend. Yep. We're going to be uh, giving you a rundown of some of the many, many Dia de los Muertos uh, events and activities happening around town, including the Celebrate Life 5K Run and Walk. Keep it here on KSAT 12. You're watching Day of the Dead San Antonio, Katrina's on the River Parade. KSAT 12 presents another Day of the Dead story. I'm making sugar skulls. The sugar skull represents your, a loved one that has passed away. And you decorate them with glitter, with feathers, colored foil, and you um, write the name of your deceased loved one on the forehead of it. And the reason that they're made of sugar is so that when you go to the gravesite, which is the, traditionally where you would place them, uh, that the ants or the rain will eventually wash it all away, symbolizing this, the temporary status of life. We believe that as long as you're remembered in life, you're not dead. But what I do is I put about five pounds of sugar and five tablespoons of meringue powder. If you're gonna color it, this is where you would add the color. So once you have the sugar and the meringue powder mixed, you're gonna put in some water. 
and very little water is required. I get like a little thing like this and then just put it in tablespoon at a time and it starts to get that kind of wet sand feeling. And once it sticks together like this, that's how you know it's ready. A sugar skull mold should have two pieces, the front of the skull and the back. You pack the sugar into the mold very tightly. You take a piece of cardboard and smooth out that part and then gently lift off. Sugar skulls were originally um, done when the Spanish came over and they showed the natives how to do sugar art. So I leave them for 24 hours to dry. I like to keep everything edible as I get some royal icing. It's basically what pastry chefs use as glue. And there you go. And you've made a sugar skull. Enjoy a variety of furniture styles at unbeatable values in store or online at Living Spaces. How's that? Wow. I thought nothing could fix my pain. Ah, three times was all it took. I couldn't do this a week ago. Arosti. We fix pain fast. April 15th is World Art Day, and our city is one great big art exhibit. But AARP in San Antonio thinks today should be your day. So connect with us at our dancing and gardening events. Or explore your neighborhood. We're working with you to make it more livable for everyone. We're here in our community helping you live la vida buena. So give life a splash of color. And take on today and every day with AARP in San Antonio. This is your smile when you save money on straightening your teeth. And these are their smiles when you use the money you saved on Black Friday to join them on the trip of a lifetime. Don't miss out. From now until November 29th, Reese's Dental and Braces is helping you save big on clear aligners and more. Share your smile with those who matter most. For more ways to save, visit Reese'sDental.com. Hey everyone, I'm Scott. And I'm Charlotte. And happy Dia de los Muertos. Actually, it's tomorrow, Thank you. officially okay. tomorrow. Thank but you very much. We've got a great recipe. We've got the spiffy uh, aprons, I guess you could right. call it. Apron we have on here. Uh, great recipe. This is really neat. Uh, using the Apolita chocolate, some great, some authentic Day of the Dead recipes. This is our horchata champurrado. So yes. really, really cool. And you're going to show us how to make it. Yeah, so um, it's a wonderful hot chocolate, which is thickened with tamasa. It's Absolutely. really, really wonderful. And so I've got a pot here to my pot. I'm going to add my whole milk. Whole milk, cool. I'm going to add my horchata. Obviously, we have the horchata. Yep. The and then a little bit of water. And what we've done in the bowl is we've added half a cup of the water with our masa, and we've mixed it together to make this creamy texture. Like I have right here. So it's been fully, so the masa has kind of fully hydrated. Yes. It's going to have some thickening power. Almost so like a slurry, the, yeah. Exactly. And then we are going to melt this abuelita chocolate. And when the chocolate gets nice and melted and everything is combined, we're going to add in this slurry and cook thicken it. until it thickens. Yes. So now for the adults that want to have something to serve alongside this, what would you serve this with for Day of the Dead? Well, a Dos Equis Mexican Pale Ale, of course. For this and other recipes, log on to kset.com slash H-E-B. Wow, thought I was gonna need surgery. You never recovered so fast. What? Man, I could not do this a week ago. Arosti, we fix pain fast. The Dead San Antonio celebration brought to you by HEV. It is a beautiful night out here at La Vita. The celebration continues throughout the weekend at La Vita Historic Arts Village. There are artistic displays, activities for kids, music, great food, dancing, and opportunities to learn about the historic and cultural importance of Mexico's Day of the Dead celebration. Today, tomorrow, and Sunday at La Vita. Mortitos Fest is happening tomorrow at CEC. The free festival goes from noon to 4 p.m. at 1518 South Alamo. There will be a showcase of student art, altars, a youth and adult best dress contest, and a whole lot more. Day of the Dead on the Old Spanish Trail runs tomorrow through November 15th at Centro Cultural 
Atzlan at 1800 Fredericksburg Road. The community is invited to dress in traditional Dia de los Muertos wear and bring offerings for the community altar. And there is a free Dia de los Muertos celebration at Historic Market Square throughout the weekend. There's going to be several beautiful altars to honor the departed and a lively procession ritual, kids' activities, food, music, and crafts. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow and Sunday. Day of the Dead comes to the Pearl tomorrow from 5 to 9 p.m. There will be arts and crafts for the kids by the museum, music and dancing, and more. And also tomorrow, the Celebrated Life 5K Run and Walk that starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, but you want to get out there early. And that we heard straight from the folks <laughs> organizing it. Welcome our good friends Dick and Chris and Tips from Mission Park Funeral Chapels and Cemeteries. Hello, hello. Y'all look fabulous, That's by the way. Outfits. I mean, my goodness. Tell us what makes this event tomorrow different. Well, it's different than any other 5K run because this one is about remembering people that have passed and sharing those memories with younger generations. And people can still register, right? Absolutely. They can register at dodsat.com. And you can even come out tomorrow morning and register, but you don't want to miss it. It's going to be fantastic. Now, what does the winner walk away with? What's the grand prize? We're going to Mexico City for a run in Mexico City. It's going to be very exciting for our winter tomorrow. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah. All right, so far, your assessment of this whole big celebration. You know, I, I, San Antonio has been incredible to come out here tonight. I've been doing river parades, as we all have, for all these years, and I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Fabulous. One word, fabulous. <laughs> okay, once again, the big 5K walk and run is going to be tomorrow at 8 o'clock, but you said get there at 7 o'clock. Get because there early because there's a lot of fun things you can do, a big altar, bring a picture of your loved one, mariachis and dancers. You'll really okay. enjoy it. And again, the uh, race starts at 8 o'clock till noon. Mission Park South, for more information, go online to dodsat.com. Thank you, Kristen. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you very so much. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good job. Well, part of the Day of the Dead tradition is making food inspired by the culture of Mexico. Yes, indeed. David Elder caught up with H-E-B chefs Scott Thompson and Charlotte Samuel to get a taste and a twist of traditional American fare. So check it out. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's David Elder. I'm out here at one of the kitchens that H-E-B has here in San Antonio. And with me today to show you guys some really cool Day of the Dead recipes, Chef Scott and Chef Charlotte. And we have a savory recipe, right? And a we soup do. recipe. Now, these we are going to be great. You can use them at any kind of celebration that you have going on. And it's going to make people really happy because everything, it smells great and it looks fantastic. But, Scott, you're going to be showing us first a savory dish. And it, Correct. it's using some kind of cheese here, but this is actually a special cheese, right? Yes, so it's our queso Oaxaca, which is really, really good. It's a fantastic melting cheese normally. Because we're doing a Day of the Dead, we're going to really pay homage to the Oaxacan cheese and just marinate it. So we're not going to melt it. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to cook with it at all. We're just going to marinate it with some spices and let it sit. It's going to become kind of an appetizer on its own, which is kind cool. of fun. Cool. Well, what's the first thing you do? So first thing we're going to do is take our Oaxacan cheese. The El Mexicano comes in these large strands. We're just going to cut it into kind of just bigger chunks. I've already got some in here, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to it because I'm going to make a bigger batch. And so our spices are going to go along with it. So I've got, I'm going to let you add the smoked paprika, Mexican oregano, cumin. I've got olive oil. And I'm going to show you a trick when it comes to our zest. So when we do something like this for this application, I want the garlic to not be big chunks kind of just sitting there. Yeah. So we're actually going to zest the lemon and the garlic. So I'll just take a clove of garlic. And it's about a teaspoon of garlic. So it's about a clove, clove and a half. I'll just do one for this. That way it completely absorbs. Then the zest goes on there. Just a little bit of zest. About the zest of one lemon. And once you get all of that on there, and then it just gets tossed together. The smell of it alone, right? Doesn't it? It just it smells is. amazing. Yeah, it's really, so you get the, the smoked paprika. The longer this like sits, the better it is. So you can try it right now, it's really good, but you, when, the longer it sits, the more it kind of penetrates and does really well for the sitting. So it's a great way to make it advance, take it somewhere else, it's really easy. So cool, go. And now the sweet, <laughs> gotta go to the sweet. And now, now we, the sweet. <laughs> and so who better than Charlotte? Show us the sweet stuff, right? So we're making, and this is like a play on Mexican hot chocolate, right? Absolutely. What we're going to do is we're actually going to make like a pudding pie, and we're going to do it really easy. What you're going to do is you're going to add your half and half egg yolks, cornstarch, and sugar into your blender. Okay, all at once, right? All at once. Yeah. Okay. And then your seasonings or your flavorings that are definitely going to give it that Mexican hot chocolate flavor are going to be the cinnamon and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Is that the secret? Yes. Well, it's that beautiful <laughs> cinnamon and the cayenne, and you can do as little or as, as much cayenne as you want. And this uh, is salt, And right? salt. Little, you always want to add a little bit of salt to your um, sweet dishes for balance. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Right. Okay, Right, cool. so then you would transfer this into a pot, you'd bring it to a simmer, and once it, thic it thickens, you would add in your butter and your chocolate chips, right? Yeah. Melt that all together, and then you would transfer that to oh, real a real mini <laughs> pie dish. You'd These take are beautiful, them off, I love and the they'd tray. look just like this. Yeah. Yes. Right, a little fest a 
festive wear. Super yeah. soft. And then you would put your whipped cream because okay. every pie needs whipped cream. Uh, Look at your technique. Right? A little uh, swirl. We'll, we'll do better on this one. I love yeah. it. So then you're going to want to do a little bit of chocolate. And again, well, we have our micro plane. To get these oh, recipes, okay. head to our website, essaylive.com, and you can follow the links. We also have some information on there about Day of the Dead as well. Hey, Richard with Manrique Custom Vision Centers. Jessica, tell them how quick your Z-Lasik took. As quick as this commercial and pain-free. Call us today. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. You have places to go and things to do. And when to go should be up to you. That's why VIA has more buses arriving more often on key routes across the city. Maybe that's why more people like you are riding VIA. In fact, ridership is up 30% on these routes. We heard you say you want to get to where you're going quickly, so we cut wait times in half on many routes. Now, you'll spend more time where you want to be and less time getting there. Imagine that. America's oil and gas moves through 2.4 million miles of underground pipelines safely. But what if those pipelines were gone? We would need 90,000 more tanker trucks or 27,000 more rail cars every single day just to meet our energy needs. So, do you want this, this, or this? We move America's energy. We are Energy Transfer. Cool Schools, brought to you by Go Public. Cool Schools spotlights the programs for students in Southwest ISD, like free full-day pre-K, aerospace and aviation, and workplace opportunities through business partnerships. Learn more at wegopublic.com. Struggling with those hard-to-find plumbing parts for your house? Don't waste time searching at those large box stores. Trust the top plumbing supply store in San Antonio, Fawcett Parts. Just text us a photo of your part, and our friendly customer service experts will identify your product before you even walk in our store off I-10 in Fresno. One pick can save you time. We have repair parts for over 100 brands. Trust San Antonio's go-to shop for over 25 years. Fawcett Parts, your premium plumbing supply store. It's the Rooms to Go Holiday Sale, and we're celebrating in style. Choose your perfect look, like this sectional, just $9.99 or $17 a month interest-free. Save on beautiful rooms like this for $14.88 or $25 a month. Shop our incredible selection room by room and bring home dining sets like this or this with fast delivery. At Rooms to Go, you get both great sale prices and 60-month interest-free financing. Now during the Rooms to Go Holiday Sale. Want to get back into your skinny jeans? Shrink those inches now. Save 20% on the latest non-surgical permanent fat loss technology. Go to the body shaping experts I trust. Call today to schedule your assessment. Sculpt Away, the body shaping expert. There's no bigger sport than high school football in South Texas. And nobody covers high school football like Greg Simmons and Big Game Coverage. Powered by your San Antonio Honda dealers. And for the everybody, once again, thank you to everybody that came out here for the big Day of the Dead San Antonio celebration. All the folks down at the river and here at La Vieta, all the organizers and everybody at KSET that worked so hard to put this on. And if you missed some of the floats, folks, floats earlier, don't worry. You are going to get to catch it again. We are going to send you off to a replay of the Day of the Dead, Katrina's on the River Parade. Have a great weekend, everybody. HEB brand products are made for the love of Texas. Like Texas Tough, made to stand up to everything from mesquite to an old live oak. Only HEB has them, because only Texas needs them. That's why HEB is the brand Texas calls home. It's a brand new day in Seguin. Hi, Alex Flores, your new dealer, and I want to introduce you to the all-new Seguin Chevrolet. We have new ownership and management and want to be your dealership of choice in South Texas. We will not be beat on price. Come see us today and save $14,000 on our new Chevy Silverado Texas Edition. Great inventory, service, and a can-do attitude. Come see us today and let us earn your business 
the all-new Seguin Chevrolet. We'll treat you right. I'm a veteran, and veterans are always welcome at Seguin Chevrolet. Courage, integrity, justice. These values are Texas heritage. Javier Villarreal and Alexander Began have been defending the people of Texas with honor at every one of life's terms. If you've been hurt, you need the Texas Law Guns to defend you and your loved ones. Voted Best Personal Injury Lawyers in San Antonio, Javier Villarreal and Alexander Begum are the Texas Law Guns. Defenders of the people, fighting for justice. From dental implants to full mouth reconstruction, San Antonio's Dr. Alfonso Menares has performed thousands of life-changing procedures. If you're struggling with the ability to smile, there's hope for you. Schedule a complimentary consultation with Dr. Menares today, 210-610-5479, or visit ImplantSanAntonio.com. At Stone Ridge, our heart is in your smile. Planet Fitness's 25 cent sale is back. Join by November 13th for just 25 cents down, $10 a month with no commitment. For just 25 cents down, you'll get tons of cardio and strength equipment, free fitness training, and a supportive, spacious environment. Get all this for just 25 cents down, $10 a month with no commitment. Hurry, this deal ends November 13th. Join in club or at planetfitness.com. Join Planet Fitness for just 25 cents down. Hurry, offer ends November 13th. The Veterans Day sale at the new Star Furniture and Mattresses is on. Take an extra 20% off.